Greetings everyone. I'm very happy and glad to have with me Efren Lopez today. And we have a great story to tell and a great experience to share. Hi Efren. Hi Fadel, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm very happy to have you today with me. Very, very glad to be here with you and, and in your program that I follow, you're your, your number, one, number one fan. <laughs> Thank you very much, friend. Uh, this is for all of us uh, and we should continue really to give uh, as much as we can to each other in Al Nadi. Uh, so let me start with the biography, Efren. Uh, well, I, I'm, I, I come from Valencia in the east coast of Spain. Mm -hmm. I was born there and still live in the same area. I, I travel for a while, but now I, I live in the, not far from where I was born. And uh, regarding to music, to my relation with music from early age, uh, my family, I mean, both my father and mother, actually when they were young, they were also music lovers. Mm -hmm. you know, but for different, my father was really, really shy mm -hmm. and still is, uh, but he had a great voice and, and still has it. But you know, in all my life, I have uh, listened to, to him singing maybe two or three times. Oh. But he has a he has a, an incredible voice. He's from Andalusia in the south of Spain. Mm -hmm. And um, he was, uh, and, he, and still is a flamenco lover. And, uh, but you know, he, he never, uh, went to it he, he had a, the talent but he was so shy that no way he could he will sing for the people mm -hmm. and from from the other side my my mom she she used to go to 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 she, she used to play when she was really young she when she was a little girl she was she used to play the bandurria which is a kind of uh, 12 string mandolin that we have in this area uh -huh. uh, but um, you know at the time, it was not uh, was not so common you know, that a woman, when when they grow up, they they, they keep playing music, mm -hmm. so it, it was like this. And so when when I when I was born, uh, I I didn't leave this the, the music. It was not a, a music atmosphere at home. Mm -hmm. But uh, my first, um, I mean. I, I was really loving to, to listen in general any kind of any kind of music. You know, when you are a kid, you don't have any filter or any criteria. I mean, you 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 listen the, the most commercial music, you know, in the radio. Mm -hmm. But the, the the thing that I, I really remember is that I was paying at, really attention to to all the little details of music, like for example arrangements. I still can remember, even from from songs that I don't like at all. But you know, uh, I could I can still remember all the arrangements when this instrument comes in, uh, all the little nuances. Mm -hmm. So uh, so it, it was re something really attracting uh, to me. Mm -hmm. uh, and the the first uh, experience with music actually uh, was when I was uh, eight. Years old, I think, mm -hmm. uh, was with trumpet. I mean, I mean, nothing to do with what, what I'm doing now. <laughs> but, but you know, I, 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 I knew that I want to, to play some music, but and the only, the only thing that we had you know, around was this uh, here in Valencia, especially. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this land is famous for, for that, for you know, the brass bands that you, have, you can find in every little village. Mm -hmm. So I was playing in, in, in this kind of bands, the trumpet, and actually I, I was doing well. I, I was practicing a lot, and it seems that I was I had some talent for the trumpet. Mm -hmm. uh, and but after, I mean, quite soon I, I understood that okay, it's not my instrument. I I, I do like music, but I I, I won't stay mm. playing trumpet for for so long. Mm -hmm. and, and and then I then I quit totally music for maybe one year or two, when I was uh, 12 or 13. And then the next uh, I mean, instrument that was everywhere around, especially in Spain, is, is the guitar. Mm -hmm. So uh, one friend of mine 
you know, my, my, my family was uh, was not a rich family, so to say. Uh, so we didn't have even money for uh, to, to buy a guitar. But uh, a friend of mine gave gave uh, his guitar to me as a present. Mm -hmm. So I started to practice by my, myself, but it really was a disaster because I, I didn't even know how to tune it. So I was asking to friends and, you know, each one was telling me a different <laughs> tuning. So, so. <laughs> So I, I I don't even remember how, how how I was tuning it, but it was not for sure the the, the standard guitar tuning that we all, we all know. Uh -huh. And yeah, and 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 I kept playing like practicing this with this guitar, like you know, just listening songs in the radio and trying to to learn learn them by myself with the guitar until I was uh, fifteen. So I, I got my first job because I, I, I didn't continue in school. Mm -hmm. and, and with that money, I could afford my first electric guitar. You know, because mm -hmm. at the time, everybody in my age, when I was 15, the, you know, the teenager, teenager mm -hmm. um, era, uh, everybody was into rock and, and metal music in my, in my neighborhood. So so I was also, you know, very, you know, very into it, and uh, I could afford my, my first guitar. It was really, really bad instrument, but okay. At least I, I, I could, you know, start to practice and, 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 and go a step forward in, in you know, in taking music more seriously. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, no, and and. Every time I, I say now that you know I'm known known for playing a totally different style of music, mm -hmm. when I say that I used to play rock, the most of the times the first reaction is is that it's like laughing or you know, it, and mm -hmm. I, I understand that, but but the truth is that at, at the moment I, I really remember very well the the, the feeling I, I got with this music and and the reason why I, I choose that that music and it's because. In, 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 at that time, in, in, you know, into this uh, pop music or rock music, there were many styles, of course, no? more mm -hmm. commercial or, or, or less commercial. But the, the style of, of rock or metal that I was listening was really uh, virtuoso music. I mean, the, the, some of the guitar players were really skilled and, you know, really virtuosos of their instruments. So for mm -hmm. me, it was a, a good... Um, uh, how to say motiva motivation, no? In, in 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 the sense of you know, uh, it, it, this admiration to, for for that uh, kind of musicians got mm -hmm. me to you know to practice a lot. I I was really practicing. I was working, you know, like in in all kinds of uh, jobs you can imagine in in factories and packing Coca Cola, and, mm -hmm. uh, really all all, the, all these kind of jobs. Uh -huh. And in the in the, in the Weekends, I was I used to practice so so much, mm. and uh, and I still feel that uh, I'm a child of that of that uh, mm. period no? because I, I really wanted to play Wu to to you know all the other styles of music were more were more about you know looking nice or or you know or, or mm. stupid lyrics or things like that. But the the style of music I was listening was really real musicians. That were really focused in, in what they do, no? Uh -huh. And uh, so uh, I think it was a, a good school in that. I mean, for for what was my horizon as a, as a as a teenager? No, there, there was nothing more interesting for me than than that, or nothing mm. nothing more mot motivating than that. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, during all this period period I'm referring to, mm. I I all, always was very attracted with. I don't know how even to to call this style, this kind of music, but to anything that that um, will will sound as roots, something that you know that will sound as connected to traditions or or you know, or you know, and actually far from this rock star uh, world that I didn't like at all. I, I wasn't interested at all. I mean, mm. and uh, so I, I I was always you know. Trying to 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 I, I'm talking now about about you know this uh, uh, the the beginning of the 80s. So mm -hmm. no internet, no possibility to travel for me at least. Uh, 
no and, and i was also grown up in in a in a in a, in a little village mm. that you know wasn't uh, cosmopolitan at all or you know we we, we didn't have a, a you know uh input for from other cultures so mm -hmm. in, in, in this sense I, I, I it was really hard for me to listen to other styles of music mm -hmm. rather than you know, uh, a part of uh, besides i mean uh, you know pop music rock music uh -huh. but, but uh, yeah i, I was uh, i was uh, you know taking any opportunity to listen also traditional music from my own you know land from valencia Mm. And uh, Arabic music actually I was listening a lot because in in the in, in the south of Spain, mm. at the time at least we we could uh, we could hear we could listen to the radio stations of uh, Morocco. Uh -huh. So it, it was quite easy, you know, to to listen Moroccan music, and you know they they will play also a lot of uh, the Egyptian Egyptian classics, no? And so I mean I didn't have any idea of what is this music names and um, mark comes anything but yeah, at yeah. least at least the, the, the this color of music this uh, this uh, way to 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 express was attractive appealing to me uh-huh interesting yeah. Yeah. Efren, i think we will i will ask you about the place of birth where it's very well known for soroya and art and uh, yeah, yeah the land of of the light and so on yeah. didn't you have any other interests other uh, other than music Actually, before music, my first uh, interest that was related to art was a uh, painting. I was quite good also at, uh, at painting and drawing. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I, I took some some awards. So I, 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 when I was a kid, it was very common to this uh, kind of contests. Uh -huh. So I, I, I won a few of, of those contests, and I really like, still like drawing, but. I, I don't know how it happened, but because I would really was into, into that. I mean, I, I will spend days and, you know, weekends drawing at home. But as soon as I, I, I touch my first instrument, all the, all the, yeah, all yeah. this side of, of me disappeared. Mm. Totally. It's, 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 it's funny, no? Mm -hmm. And but besides, besides of that, I, I didn't have any other any other passion, no? Besides of music, I mean, all, all the kids in my age, Will like uh, football or you know think these kind of things. I don't I don't have any idea about football. I you know and Spain is a very is a country that is really you know into football and but I I didn't connect with that at all with competition in general. I think I have a problem with competition competitivity in general. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> and the school, uh, Efren. Let's talk about the school and your perception of school. The way you dealt with it. Well, this is a subject quite, um, you know, I, I, have, I have to say that I had quite a bad experience mm. uh, in the school. I don't want to go to details, but it, it was mm. quite, quite uh, hard for me. Mm. And um, especially to, towards the end of the, of the you know, I, I officially, I don't know even to, to read because, you know, I left the school before finishing it, uh, the, the primary school. Mm. I mean, and uh, I, I I was quite in conflict with some with some teachers, but not never. I mean, I I wasn't a, a, at all a, a you know a rebel or a or a violent kid or you know mm. I was actually very respectful and very quiet. quiet. Mm. And I, my 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 way to to go against that, that was it wasn't uh, I wasn't I, yeah. Was is what it was not aggressive or or, or anything mm -hmm. at all like that. Mm -hmm. I, I was just you know in my own uh, bubble and <laughs> just wishing the, this those years to to finish as soon as possible so mm -hmm. I can become a musician as fast as possible because mm -hmm. you know in, in the in the school in the primary school in Spain at, at least at the time I think now it's even worse mm -hmm. but at the time the the music education was really poor. Mm -hmm. Except of one, I, I, it's, it's not that you asked for about that because now I remember something that I forgot for many years. Mm -hmm. Because we, we used to have a music teacher. She was an, a very old lady, very very sweet lady, very very nice as a person, mm -hmm. you know. But for us, it was a bit uh, boring, no? You 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 as, as a kid, you want something a bit exciting. She was a t piano teacher, and and she would teach us songs and things like that. 
uh, but and she got she got uh, sick at some point and they brought a substitute for her for a couple of months and this guy this guy was uh, you know i was maybe i was uh, seven or eight years old and this guy was a hippie you know, with long mm. hair and beard and he he used to play bass guitar electric bass guitar mm. and, and he was re really kind also very very polite guy and really passionate about 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 the the, the matter that he was teaching that was music mm. and you know he he he, he did a, he provoked a, a very um a big change in, in us no in, in regarding to the love for the music and and also to, to about the creativity he, mm -hmm. he will push us a lot to to do creative things like you know creating us uh, you know simple stuff like creating a song or or or, or playing or improvising or whatever and but this could last only a couple of months because you know the the mm. our or norm or regular teacher uh got well and she came back and we, we love her but when you know as a musician she wasn't so, so inspiring mm. for us and um so my my relation with with the with the with the school was with that with was that i, I mean i was a good student i i, I could have good uh, grades how do you call it in english like, uh, yeah, yeah that's yeah. right yeah yeah uh, and but you know i wasn't interested because you know they were were in t teaching music and what i wanted to, was to do to, to music so i didn't care about anything else really yeah and uh, and my aim was you know to to go out as soon as possible so i can make money as soon as possible to buy a guitar and become a musician <laughs> i mean mm -hmm. i know that it's a very childish uh, no, actually, this is uh, this is a very brave uh, decision yeah. made, and it seems that you have a very clear imaginary goal from the beginning for music. Yeah. There is also a, a little anecdote. I don't know if uh, it's too much, but you know, no, no, I, go really, ahead. I, 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 I really remember the exact second where I decide to 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 be to become a musician. It's funny mm. because it, it was a very exact moment. Because you know, I, as I said before, I, I used to play trumpet, mm. but uh, okay, you know, I I I start to play that instrument because you know it was easy, it was you know it was around, it was uh, affordable also, uh, and I, uh, actually I the the trumpet was not my property, but the, the this the orchestra property. I mean, I, mean, uh, mm. I was just you know using it as a as a musician, and. You know, I, I was that that day. I was, I think, eight years old. So, I I I, I liked one girl in my in my classroom. I was in love with her. Mm. So, I, <laughs> um, one day the, the the teacher asked me, "A friend, bring your trumpet and play for us in the school." You know, mm -hmm. and, and and you know what? I, I was playing something really simple, maybe one scale, no, or, or something like, like that. I was <laughs> a total beginner, but you know, I, I was super ner nervous for, for playing in, in front of an uh, audience no yeah so I, I played it and it went quite well but after when when we will you know go out from the school we were you know gathering with with all, all our friends and this girl was also there so yeah. I, I I did this joke of blowing from the uh, only the mouthpiece of the of the trumpet without the instrument itself mm -hmm. but really as loud as as I could, <laughs> I don't know why. It was very stupid, very childish thing, no. And mm -hmm. I started blowing yeah. until I I faint. I, f I fell down in the in the, in the <laughs> floor, you know. I I I, I lost my my conscious my consciousness for for a few seconds, no. And yeah. when I woke when I woke up, and you know, everybody was was very really afraid, no. That I, yeah. I had, and I, I was feeling yeah. okay, but but you know, for a few seconds everything disappeared <laughs> and, I, and i open my eyes i see all, all my my classmates very worried about me and i was no no everything is, everything is fine and really that moment i felt that uh, wow I, I i i really want to play music i want to do this all my life <laughs> mm. and, and and yeah and then you know mm. <laughs> but this was the the first uh, spark so to say. interesting <laughs> And uh, you know the trumpet maybe and and these kind of uh, 
uh, things happening at the time were having the trigger for this uh, this kind of uh, music passion, right? You had the passion, mm. the direction where was very strong, and uh, all your senses maybe was uh, towards music. Absolutely, no, and it's mm. still like that. Mm. <laughs> but but uh, it, it took me maybe years or even decades to, you know, because sometimes you feel that, uh, or you are afraid, you know, that this passion will decre uh, decrease, mm. you know, with, with, the, with the age as, as, the, as the time goes on. But in my case, it's, it's the opposite. I mean, wh wh what I realize now is that, or what I regret, is not a re really a, re a regret, but sometimes I say, wow, I, I wish I, 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 I could have this determination I have now for music and this, when I was, uh, when I was 20, 20, you know, because when you are 20, you have more energy, you are, you know, mm. you are like a fire, no? And, and yeah. uh, you are, uh, usually your life is simpler also, no? When, when you are younger and so you have more time to practice, but okay, things came how, how they came and I, I don't have any regrets, but the thing is that sometimes I feel now with, you know, being a, a, a mature man mm. that I was not aware of of all my cap capabilities or or my potential, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I was maybe b b because of the s a few fears, no, because I also in, in you know, in, in, I, I was born in in the, in the fear, no, in, in, in my in my family, in my in my environment, the, this this fear thing of of you know, daring to to become a musician or or, or to do your life in your way. So you know the family with, with the best of, with the best intentions. I, I don't blame them for for anything, but you know they they are afraid you know, of you being a musician. What what I, what are you do? You know with uh, you know how how can you you know survive being a, being a musician? Exactly. No? Yeah. Uh, so I I, I I I understand them because it's a is a is a way of life that is not you know secure or, or in the same. I mean economically speaking, mm. but you know really I I. You know, for for me, I mean, the the way to do that is, you know, is to to not have a plan B. I mean, to 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 go to go straight for what you want and 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 deal with the with the problems that will come in the in the way. Because you know, whatever you choose in life, even if you are, you know, mm. uh, the richer man in the in the uh, the richest man in the world, mm -hmm. we, we, you you will have tra troubles and and life is. Uh, is that no so yeah yeah mm. but you managed to survive at the end you know and you yes. had a very great successful uh, yeah, uh, yeah. career and experiences we will maybe see later on but yeah. from the beginning i think you were able to survive you know that you will survive in this yeah yeah because mm. yeah I, um, for example uh also not this thing of not uh, studying you know not going to university things mm. like that it's hard because you know when i was i was a kid I, actually it was i was not even in the, in the legal age yet to to, to, to work but mm. i was working already you know i was mm. my first job like a, so to say official that wasn't official because it was illegal <laughs> still yeah. uh, but yeah. it was in a, in a i was selling selling uh, you know tvs and fridges and things like that i was in one in one and and the first year because i the, the legal age was 16 i was 15 mm. the first year they they had me you know in a in a, in a warehouse mm. warehouse you know yes. without a, without a sunlight you know just hidden no because because it was illegal yes to have a, this a, a, a kid like me you know there mm -hmm. But but for for me I was totally decided to decided to to do that because for me it gave me a kind of um, uh, freedom or you know or, or independ independence you know yeah. independent so mm -hmm. to 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 make my own money even if it's uh, small but you know I can decide what to do with that that money and and in this sense I I don't have any regrets about that also. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so so uh, I was yeah working in, in several um, jobs that you know mm -hmm. were really horrible <laughs> for a teenager. But mm -hmm. but the, the good side of, of that is that it was I, I didn't have 
to ask money to my parents or to anybody. I I did my you know uh, my mm -hmm. own thing, yeah. and I uh, and and I I will dedicate all 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 the all the time. I will spend all the, the, my free time practicing music, guitar mm. in the, in that case, yeah. Mm. And um, yeah, I was I was okay with that. I was okay with that. Mm -hmm. Great. So, uh, just one question before we delve into uh, the great timeline of your story. <laughs> uh, you told me that you you had some kind of access to some other music through the radio, <laughs> like some Arabic and Moroccan music. Yeah. You like the Andalusian music. Uh, let's remember the great encounters of what we call different music from <laughs> what's common at the time. Yeah, uh, this uh, this thing was uh, quite easily available. I mean, to to listen radio, but you know, mm -hmm. I didn't speak the language. I didn't know anything. I I I I, I, I will just listen some sounds that I love, mm -hmm. and 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 that's it. I mean, I, I I I couldn't connect them with anything else, or you know. Mm -hmm. or 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 didn't even know where to go to find this kind of music also at the time mm -hmm. we didn't we didn't have uh, musicians from other from other nations in 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 the in the country you know we didn't, we didn't have immigration from from other parts of the world so mm. so it was nearly impossible to listen other styles of music but yeah. even yeah. even for the traditional music of, of valencia mm. it was quite something that was quite hidden even even our our own traditional music, but you you could you could uh, you know especially in festivities you know or you know holidays you could hear some some traditional music, mm. and also another source of, of information was uh, some some radio shows in in Spain in 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 the radio Spanish uh, the national Spanish radio. Mm -hmm. And they had to, some some programs, you know, for what they call world music or things like that. So I, I, I used to, you know, to have my cassette always ready to record. So mm -hmm. whenever I will I will hear an interesting sound, I will record for, you know, 20 seconds or 30 of music. Mm -hmm. So it was really, it was really like little drops there. You, you mm -hmm. couldn't um, uh, listen to, to, to anything like properly, yeah. I mean, the, the the a big step was a few year, years later mm. uh, when I started actually to work as a, as a musician. I mean, to mm. get paid for <laughs> to play music, you know? and it, it happened quite quite soon. Mm. Uh, so I, I think I was eighteen. Uh, this uh, I was pl playing with one of my rock bands in a in a festival. It was actually it was a contest mm. again a contest. And one one of the members of the jury, mm. uh, he liked my, my way of, of my way of playing. His name is Vicente Sabater, and he he happened to be a, a quite important pro producer, like mm. you know pop and, and rock music producer. And he he's he will hire me to to play in the studio. Mm. You know, at the time I, I didn't have any any you know knowledge of music any you know theory theory or anything like that yeah but yeah. you know but you know i i was playing quite well because you know i practice a lot and listen a lot of music mm -hmm. and 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 he will hire me occasionally for to play for other bands you know that didn't have a guitarist or the guitarists are were not that good so for the album they want to to you know to have a better sound so mm -hmm. and by working there, I, I had some more access you know, to other style, styles of music. A few few years later, I mean, initially I, I started to work as a, as a, a musician, studio musician, session musician, as, as they call, mm -hmm. uh, as they call it. And but later on, I was really interested in in, in the sound engineering itself. Mm -hmm. So so I. By by working ne next to Vicente, to my teacher, I got to learn also the, this uh, you know, this uh, profession. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. And in, in the studio, we, we we will host you know all kinds of uh, clients, like also traditional music or you know baroque music or all kinds of of, mm -hmm. of music. So I I my 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 horizon suddenly you know 
got much wider. Actually. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and actually, uh, my my very first uh, job as mm -hmm. a as a as a sound engineer there was uh, very important because uh, th there was a folk group here in Valencia mm. called uh, Altal and uh, they were really important in the 70s and the 80s mostly mm. and uh, the you know the 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 mind behind this this uh, band he he was a really important and still is a really important man in our tradition in Valencia because he did this uh, huge uh, field recording uh, uh, you know uh, mm -hmm thing in the 70s so he had a, he has a, an amazing archive of uh, recordings of uh, our tradition old tra tradition so my first job mm. you know this this guy came to the to the studio mm. and he 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 wanted to to have an interview with me because mm. he wanted to talk to me about the very ser seriously about that job and that job was you know he was collecting these uh, recordings in you know in um, tape in uh, mm. for this uh, is a uh, and uh, these tapes were, you know, somewhere in the, you know, in the, uh, in the, how is it in English? Uh, so I forgot the word. Is it a storage or? Yeah, 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 yeah. In, it's, uh, storage in a, in a, you know, in a building in the, in the. Mm. Uh, basement. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's exactly the basement, you know, yeah. with humidity and it was really damaged. Mm. And, and my job will, will be to, to transfer all this, uh, tapes into uh, the, uh, the digital digital mm. audio tape right uh -huh. so and they were so damaged that you can play them or you would you could play them only once because you know that the, as as the tape was passing through the mm. machine it was you know falling apart right. in, in the, wow yeah yeah so it was really important he he just wanted to to interview the guy that will do this job mm. Because he wanted me to 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 be aware of how important this this thing was, no? And and he told mm. me, you know, this this is the last, the last, um, the last, uh, you know, the last uh, really traditional music mm. ever recorded, recorded. I mean, the oldest music recorded in Valencia. So you can wow. play one of each one of these uh, tapes once. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you know all the cables and everything is is uh, ready because you know if not you, we will miss that music we will lose uh -huh. it forever wow. lose it forever yeah so i was wow <laughs> and he was really serious and you know my job for maybe one month was to listen everything that was recorded uh, in uh, in valencia about uh, traditional music so i i discovered many many things of course the most of the musicians were not even even musician uh, i mean professional musicians were you know like uh, housewives or you know uh, yeah. farmers or things like that but amazing voices some of them mm. and you know it was a really a really nice uh, you know link for me to with my own tradition uh, 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 you know par parallel to my rock uh, rock mm. style yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. life right mm. and, uh, and also I think I was very lucky to experience what is to be a, a, a rock star you know for mm. for some for in some because that's what make me <laughs> to mm. to uh, to 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 i mean to be sure that this is something that i don't want in my life at all no? you know I, I, as as i was working in the studio also they they invite me once to to do a tour mm. with a band from valencia that got quite famous in puerto rico in mm. In, in, the, in the Caribbean Sea, you know, mm. and uh, so we, we went there. This was in the ninety four, if I'm not mistaken, ninety four. Mm. So I was twenty two. I was very young, you know. It was mm. my first time, uh, you know, playing abroad, and and you know we, we got there in, in in Puerto Rico. I was you know a hired musician. I I, yeah. I, I was hired because they were not uh, that good as a player, so they. Yeah. Uh, and you know I, I i had this experience of being a, a rock star you know mm. we had you know private private uh, airplane 
you know, mm -hmm. uh, bodyguards and this kind of, uh, we, we even even for ourselves was was a big surprise, no? Because yeah. I mean, the communication was not not that easy at, at, at that time, and you go you get there and you don't know what what to expect to expect, mm -hmm. and when and you know everybody was, we were playing for you know thousands of people and and okay it was uh, funny for you know 10 days but when i came back to 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 spain I, it was a quite big crisis for me you know because i i was thinking okay if i continue to play this music this rock music the maximum you know i mm. can achieve as a musician is this you know mm. i mean th this is the goal of uh, or, or the success in in this in this uh, field of music yeah and the, and this is uh, has nothing to do with with me. So so it was a, a, a actually it was very good not to to reach this uh, this uh, this climax of yeah. my career. This uh, you know mm. milestone in in a, in a such a early age because then you forget about about that no? and you take an, a, a, another direction. No? Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. And I remember you told me once about your uncle. Bring oh, yeah. <laughs> this is very interesting. I think this is also a source for a closed community of an additional kind of uh, music, right? Yeah, uh, probably I told you about the, my uncle that he was a taxi driver, mm. <laughs> and, and uh, you know these 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 things can seem like little, but yeah. when you are a kid, when you are a kid, they are huge, no? Mm. Because yeah, as, as I said before, in the in our community in our village or neighborhood you know we, we didn't have any contact with foreigners or other cultures yeah but this this uncle of mine Manolo he was a taxi driver so this is this was the most uh, you know international uh, person <laughs> in person I, I could I could meet at, at my age mm. and, and and I mean my the 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 uh, he was working a lot for uh, for for um, Travelers that would come to the airport, and you know he would take them to the hotels. So he 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 need to he needed to learn few words in French and English more and German maybe. Mm. So and and uh, and this this figure figure for me was very fascinating, no? Mm. Because this uh, okay, this is nothing, no? Maybe he knew five words in English, but for me it was wow, no? He he knows a, a lot about the world, no? That exactly. is a uh, is beyond my, my imagination, and mm -hmm. and actually he was the, the the man that had this uh, old radio, you mm -hmm. know that could you could, you could dial mm -hmm. uh, uh, all these uh, radio stations from from Morocco and, and probably also mm -hmm. other countries, uh, Algeria, Algeria probably. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, when, when I w used to go to his house, you know mm -hmm. uh, we were asking him all the time, please ca can you can you put on the the, the 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 radio not so we can hear this uh, nice music <laughs> mm -hmm. and actually they they call him they used to call him as a nickname the Arab because because he really looks like uh, he could be you know from from uh, he could be a, Egyptian or 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 you know from the Emirates or or, or whatever yeah interesting so we 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 started with the trumpet and the guitar and these yeah. kinds of musics and the traditional uh, uh, Valencia music and the experience. Yeah. Then where did we go after that? Yeah, uh, uh, you know, I, I I feel that I didn't I didn't I didn't get re really into traditional music earlier because just because of the very simple reason that I didn't have any anybody around me to to share this music with, you know. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I saw one opportunity to do that, I, you know, I, I went for it uh, very, very quickly. Mm. Uh, before that, I, I, I want to, to, talk, to tell also a very little story because, you know, I see that uh, now, you know, when you go back, you, you look back to, you know, to your, all your path, you can, you can see all, the, all these uh, little moments that, that, uh, that, you know, that were like a kind of a revelation to, for you or or you know make you you know turn to the, the, your path so, yes. so somewhere else. so mm -hmm. uh, i was really yeah into rock and and this uh, uh, although i was already you know i really loved the 
the feeling of playing acoustic instruments. I was playing acoustic uh, guitar, 12, 12 string guitar also. I liked like it so much. Mandolin. Mm. I mean, instruments that were easy to find, you know, in, in a city like Valencia. But, yeah. for example, I, I, I was already listening to, to some Indian music, for example. Mm. You know, but but every time I will say to somebody, I like Indian music, no? Always the reaction was, you are crazy. This is impossible to 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 play or to or to even to enjoy even you know mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I, I remember once i was you know my my girlfriend at the time she was working in a bar she mm -hmm. was a waiter in a, in a nightclub or something like that no mm -hmm. so uh, I, I i i didn't even drink alcohol or things or things like that but you know but okay she was working there so so i had to go to accompany her to go back home no? because she will finish her job late in the night yeah. so I, I i went there and while well while she was finishing her, her, her day mm. you know i was there was a tv that was on there mm. but you, you could you couldn't even hear the sound i mean because they, they were playing some music but you know they have this tv screen there just you know playing movies this stupid American Hollywood movie movies about, you know, action mm. and blah, blah. Mm. And so I was, you know, watching the movie, but without even knowing about what is what is about just because I was yeah. bored there. Mm. Uh, and suddenly in one of the scenes of the of the movie, I could see a sitar, a mm. sitar, you know, a sitar player, but really for five seconds, something really, uh, you know, went like this, like really quickly. Mm -hmm. And I, I knew already the sitar. I was listening to you know the, the the big masters that were available in 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 Europe, like uh, you know of course Ravi Shankar, uh, Bilal Khan, and uh, not not so many more. Mm. And I knew that that I really like this music, you know. Mm. And and I I was thinking I, I I had this click in my mind. I was like, why why if I like this music, I don't try to to find you know, a teacher or, a, or an instrument or whatever. Mm -hmm. And and by coincidence, the next uh, uh, weekend, I will play in Madrid uh, a mm -hmm. concert uh, with a rock singer. Mm -hmm. And and at the time in Madrid, we had a, a huge uh, music, uh, music, music, musical instrument shop mm -hmm. that we, they will say, sell, you know, guitars and more conventional instruments, but they will have also some strange or exotic instruments section. Mm -hmm. And so I went there just a few days after this uh, this uh, experience in Valencia. I went there and I bought one sitar. <laughs> just like oh. this, without, 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 you know, I spent the money of, uh, that I earned in the, in the concert in the sitar. <laughs> it was a really bad instrument. I, I'm even feel shy to say that mm. <laughs> sitar, no? But okay, for me, I, 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 and I don't even, I don't play it, play it anymore, and I, I never play it really properly. But it was a first step for me to to realize that okay, if you if there is something that you like, why you don't at least try? You no, know, try to try to to get to it, to to to, to try it, to to see if you really like it. To and if you do so, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, practice and and try to find a teacher. But really. Uh, I was quite shy at the time and quite uh, afraid of traveling or you know things like that, mm. and um, everything looked like so 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 difficult, no? And it was actually you no know, because we didn't have any connection with. I even I never had seen even one Indian guy in my life, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was it was something from another planet. Yes, you know, at, at the time, but anyway, it was a, a first first step, you know. Also. Also, a few months or years later, uh, also a friend of mine went to, went for holidays in Greece. Mm. And uh, I, I asked him, I, he was a good friend of mine, and, and I asked him, please, could you bring me a buzuki, you know, the Greek buzuki? Uh, because, you know, I, I really like this, this instrument. I mean, probably I had, at the time, I had uh, listened, you know, to a couple of cassettes with very, mm. you know, folkloric music, you know, very kind of a kitsch. But, you know, I, I liked the I liked the, the, the sound, the timber of the instrument. Mm. And, and, and he did he did it. I mean, he did so 
he mm. wrote uh, a very again a very rubbish <laughs> instrument to me but no for at least it was a first step no uh, yeah yeah interesting uh, yeah. and also uh, i mean but the first the uh, and so i uh, i start to, in to include this these timbers in my music even I, I i was playing rock music but you know i will use the buzuki for a song or things like that mm. uh now i'm talking about 1994 95 mm. and then I, I i had the chance to to play my first traditional music or folk music or whatever you you want to call it mm. uh, project mm. that was because you know i was uh, i was working in the, the studio as a sound engineer and one day one one traditional music band came mm. to record and mm. actually, I knew the guy. He was from the, my my same village, Eduardo Navarro. He's a great musician. He plays mostly wind instruments, like a, like zurna and this kind of uh, stuff, and yeah. bagpipes. Mm -hmm. And he, he came to the studio, and you know he knew me as a rock and metal musician. I, and mm. I, I could feel that that his first reaction was, "Wow, this this guy is gonna record our music." He's, <laughs> Yeah, you know, he didn't really trust me, you know. Yeah. But actually, but actually, after after few days working, he was very impressed. Wow, you, you, you really like our music, you no? Know? And it was, of course, I, I really love this this stuff. Mm. And uh, and this this is how, and actually, after a few months, Edward invited me to to play in his, I mean, to to do a project together. So he 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 gave me a lot of music to listen, you know, like cassettes. Of you know Bulgarian music, Turkish music, Greek, you know, and I was wow, I I, I really was uh, amazed by 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 that, you know. It was a so we 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 set this repertoire and we were playing for for you know so in in mostly in, the, in our area of Valencia, uh -huh. this uh, this uh, repertoire. Yeah. Interesting. Now I heard the word project twice, but we will come back to it later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, till now we have seen really a lot of encounters of uh, of different kinds of music, and maybe your roots or maybe your gene genes are going towards uh, certain kind of music that will <laughs> clearly maybe. be very, very, uh, you know, or maybe lived soon uh, at a different or higher level. So from from there. This is the way you learn the music through practice, through listening. Maybe no single uh, teacher or instructor, right? And no, and and till till then I was quite an uh, self-taught musician. Mm. I, and uh, after uh, some some years later, I I start to I mean. Mm. I, I I did I did have lessons with a um, sitar. A sitar player in, that was living in Valencia, Sazed mm. Udalam. He's mm. still living here. He's from, uh, he's, from, he's from Bangladesh, mm. and uh, I, I took some lessons with with him, but uh, but uh, I, I didn't go really deep in in. I mean, I I, I had some some training with him in in, in sitar in sitar technique and 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 the raga system theory, mm -hmm. but really. Mm. For for my taste, a bit, it was like too too slow. And also, my commitment was probably not not the most deep, mm. because I was busy with with other things. I I, I had this kind of a storm in my in my head. I, I had so so many things that I wanted to to learn and to experience. Mm. Uh, and and then I start to okay. I I took this decision because really I was feeling that I'm more like myself. When I play these traditional instruments, than when I play the metal music or, or rock, mm. and and you know all my friends got crazy when when mm. I start to to sell my guitars, to, mm. to 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 buy you know these weird instruments, the because because you know I I, I in, at least in this uh, Valencia scene I, I was I was quite you know uh, I had this recognition no, of being a good guitarist. And 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 you know, at some point I sold all my 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 electric guitars. I kept mm -hmm. only the the instrument, the acoustic instruments. Mm -hmm. And and many of my friends thought that like, okay, a friend 
is gone. I mean, we, we, uh, he, he, he got mad and, and he, he will come back at some, at some point. No? Yeah. Uh, but actually, he was feeling so good and so, so, so comfortable in this new, you know, new, mm. new persona no? as, as a musician. Yeah. Mm. And, and then I, I start to write my, my own music. And this is a, no, another step, you know, another, another, I, I, I did, I, I had a, already this experience of uh, writing music mm. and, and also, you know, as a producer, I was, you know, producing other, other groups in the studio, like, as a, but mm. mostly pop, pop or rock music. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, around to 1997, I start to, to write my own music. I, uh, we create a, a uh, a, a band, a band called Lam de Folk, mm -hmm. and and in that band I, I start to you know to 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 put on my creativity and all these kind of uh, uh, instruments, but really still without any theoretical knowledge. You know, mm -hmm. I was I was playing oud also. I, I, at some point I, I got an oud, mm -hmm. I, again a very bad instrument, <laughs> but it was the only the, the only option I had at the time. Yes, and I and I start to write music for for these instruments, mm -hmm. but really, is I, I can't listen that, that, that those songs anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, I mean, I was very young and and really no 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 con, no real contact with that music or or, mm -hmm. or you know those mm -hmm. traditions. So I, I I did what I could what I could. No? Yeah, uh, and then another big step. Uh huh. Uh, when when we start to record with the first album with that band, this was in 1998, 99. Uh, we you know we wrote some songs and and we start to record it. We were playing a lot of concerts. We we, we start to get famous, no, in in mm. in Spain. And while we were recording the the, the I, I was about to finish the the first album, mm -hmm. and and somebody somebody gave me a one. Uh, uh, one record from Ross Daly. Uh huh. And and I was okay. <laughs> this is <laughs> something serious. And uh, 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 really, the, the feeling I, I, I got when when I first listened to his music is that okay. I think this man, although he's he's an European like me, mm -hmm. he knows he knows what what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I, I had this this feeling, no? Mm. I, I I couldn't name this music I, I don't know what which kind of music it is i didn't even know the word makam not mm -hmm. even the word mm -hmm. uh, 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 but i i think this this guy has knows what he, he knows what is do, what he's doing and mm. takes this music seriously and uh, he, he's into it into it no he's not uh, saying it as, as, as something exotic no exotic is a greek word it means mm. external yes you know, when you play yeah. When you play exotic music, I think this is horrible. I mean, how mm. can you play music that is external to you? I, I think yeah. it's, it's not possible, no? Interesting. I mean, uh, uh, so I was totally, uh, you know, amazed, fascinated. But again, you know, you, you see this, this album, it was a copy, actually. I didn't know even how the guy looks like. Mm -hmm. not, not even sure if he's actually European or not, I, I knew I, I knew only one name, no, Ross Daly, okay, mm. who's, who's that? Mm. And uh, no internet also at the time. And by chance, a few months later of this discovery, uh, he, he would play, he would have a, a, a concert in Spain, in Madrid. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I, I met him for the first time and, and then Maybe maybe we want to make another question or what? Because this is another chapter, maybe for later or I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think it's time to to share this experience. <laughs> okay. It's really uh, very strange or very weird the way things happen. You know, you experience <laughs> something, then the week after or three days later, it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now yeah, yeah. <laughs> the same story of that five second sitar. <laughs> exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah, and I don't know what happened before the bazooki and before the wood. <laughs> and now uh, the the album, 
yeah. with the with the album copy of uh, Rose Daily, and then yeah. a week later he's in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he 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 came to play in Madrid. Mm. So I, I was okay. I, I need to to meet him, no, and and not. I I didn't even think to meet him really. I was very shy, really really shy, and mm. not only shy, but you know, I I I, I was not aware of uh, how easy things can be sometimes. Not mm -hmm. always, of course, but sometimes you have, you know, just to to do them. I, I mean, mm. if you go to a concert of Rosé, it's not that difficult to talk to him. No? Mm. So, but but for me, I don't know. I had some mental block or something. So, but anyway, I get I got there, and uh, you know, at the time, I didn't, I I couldn't speak English or Greek. Uh, I my my only foreign language was French, and not actually not not that good French. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh so i i go to the concert I, I i i was actually really close to it was an acoustic concert no mm. amplification so it was perfect and it was you know sitting just two two meters from rose and it was totally you know flying mm -hmm. and after the and, and, and during the concert or maybe before the right before the concert i met a girl you know just you know we we you know just say a couple of uh, sentences before the, the concert starts, and then I I I found you know the, the I dare to to ask her to 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 because she could speak speak English to mm. to translate mm. for for to to to, to say some words you no know, to to Ross yeah not even yeah. asking him about the lessons but just to to express my you know my appreciation my, my appreciation exactly mm. and and she was yeah, no problem so we went there and. And uh, you know, this this idea came to my mind. Okay, let's ask him about uh, lessons, uh, mm. about about studying with him. No, mm. and I was, uh, can, I, I would like to study with you. And mm. he was like very cool as he as he's still now. No, mm. he was okay. If you want to, you know, to have lessons with me, just you have to move to Crete, and we can work together. Mm -hmm. And I was okay. Thank you very much. No, but really, I was so shy. I was, I was. It was really a few, <laughs> few words only. Mm -hmm. But okay, I went back back home, and I was okay. I think this is a this this opportunity is too big too big to to miss it. No, I really want to. I think it's a it's a good chance to to take this music seriously. I mean, to mm -hmm. to, to to go to a step for, forward. No. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the time time had time time passed on, and I mean I, I, I was saving money, you know, to with this idea of, of moving to Crete, and uh, actually I was you know uh, doing a lot of work in the studio as a producer with, with, with this goal, no, mm. and finally after one year I could afford uh, to you know to travel there and to spend maybe some months there without without uh, worrying necessarily about money and i did so mm -hmm. and yeah so you got the address from the first meeting then <laughs> I, I think he gave me his telephone and then I, I i i called him but really my english was horrible it's not that now is a perfect but but at the time it was really really bad and and yeah I, I i told him you know i'm the guy that you meet you met in the in madrid i i would like to study with you yeah no problem come here and i'm very busy oh but you know we will find the way mm -hmm. and so i moved there and it was very funny because you know the, the mm. i didn't i didn't know even what i want to study with him. i didn't i didn't I, you can you can imagine how <laughs> how uh, you know cloudy my 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 brain was no? because i it, 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 it was a big mess, no. I, I didn't even want to what what I didn't even know what I want to study. But you know, so, you know the target. You know there is something there. Yeah, I have yeah, to exactly. get it, whatever it exactly. is. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this is this is the the late motive of, of my life. Really, it's mm. something that you know very clear. It's, it's a kind of kind of paradox because it's very clear. It's a very very clear picture. But you don't have the vocabulary to name it, or you know, or, or the or the context. You mm -hmm. even even from, this is, this happened from the very beginning, you know, when, from this uh, funny story in the in the school when I was eight. Mm -hmm. 
really yeah. I, 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 uh, the, the, the way of music I wanted to play was very clear for me. Mm. Probably, probably I could have, you know, studied other other discipline of music. I mean, other styles, but but uh, who knows, no? But but I really feel that what I when I close my eyes and listen to the music we play now, mm. I I get the exact exact feeling that I wanted to to experience, no? Uh, when when in, in all this in uh, mm. during all those uh, little experiences, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, I mean the, the first encounter with me was very funny, you know, because really I, I was totally lost. I was totally lost and totally, you know, really yeah. to anything. I was totally UFO, you know, like a, like a alien. <laughs> and uh, and we, we have discussed this many things many times with Rose, is you know, because mm -hmm. it's, it's it's funny you not know, to, to now that we are friends and we collaborate in. in in many ways, mm -hmm. to see how how each each one of us so uh, felt that the time, no? Yeah. And the, the first thing is is you know his question. Okay, what do you want to study with me? Mm -hmm. It was uh, you know, now the and, question comes. <laughs> no, 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 actually, my, my my girlfriend was uh, translating because I couldn't speak. I would I couldn't uh, express myself in English. I, mm -hmm. Maybe I, I I need need some sentences, but. You know, very something really, really superficial, mm. and uh, and you know, again by coincidence, <laughs> by by chance, he had uh, he had several instruments hanging on the wall. Yeah, and one of, one of them was a bagla the sas, the Turkish sas. No? <laughs> and okay, and okay, do you know this? He says, do you know this instrument? Yeah, yeah, I have one. I, I play it a little bit, you know, in my yeah. ignorance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I play it a little bit. Actually, this is maybe a little parenthesis, because mm. actually one of my the engines of all this process was the ignorance that is very really bad. But sometimes when you are a total ignorant, you also dare to do things, you know that that you wouldn't do. I mean, if if uh, if if uh, I was born in a place where everybody plays amazing wood, maybe you know, mm. maybe I, I will never dare. To, to you know to to get one and and, and try to learn it or mm -hmm. maybe yes I, I don't know but sometimes i feel this this ignorance makes you very very you know very courageous fresh. yeah yeah yeah, yeah you, exactly mm. so and 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 now i i, I feel that no I, I i was telling to ross yeah yeah i, I play a little bit of Baglama. and you know he was very respectful and you know listening to me carefully when mm. i was playing while i was playing Mm -hmm. And after my my amazing playing, yeah. he said, you know, in a very polite way, bravo, very good, but everything is wrong and we will start from the, from zero. <laughs> 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 but no, but it was it was not uh, it didn't it didn't it didn't hurt because mm. you know he was really polite mm. and I and I, I, I could understand that he's right, no? I knew that he's right. Uh, Mm. And yeah, and he was, you know, he wrote, you know, by hand, uh, uh, the whole score, one, one song, you know, one, one tune. Yeah. yeah by, by hand, you know, with all the fingers for each note, for every note. You know, mm. he, it took him maybe one hour to, to write this, this uh, hand, hand uh, manuscript, no? Yeah. Uh, score. And, and this was, and okay, I, I you know, for, for me, each, each lesson was like, you know, like, I, I could could not be more grateful no really it was was a, like a miracle for me really mm -hmm. and actually he, he used to he will call me you know to push me to for the for the for the next lesson you know because mm -hmm. at the time he was really busy I think I think he was teaching in, in Crete in Athens in Thessaloniki so he was traveling every week you know all all around the country mm -hmm. and uh, but he you know he would take this this time to teach me and and I was so thankful of course and uh, yeah and this was and okay I this is the first time in my life that I said okay now I'm I'm studying music you know I'm studying mm -hmm. music I studying the, the music I really want to play and I will take it ser seriously because you know it took mm -hmm. me so much effort to be here and this man is is you know he, uh, sharing his time with me yeah, I need to. I need to, you know, to, go, to be a good student also. No? Mm -hmm. So he would call you and say, "What do you have now?" Yeah, 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 exactly. 
Uh, Fred, I have some spare time now if you want to. I, I, I remember so, sometimes we will meet in a hotel or, or, or things like that, no? So, mm. yeah, it was uh, really special for me, really special period. What and and also, yeah, sorry? carry on, please. Yeah. And, no, I, I want to say that also at the same time, I was, because before knowing Ross, before even knowing his music, I also already knew a bit about Creta music before mm. knowing that he even exists. Mm. So, uh, 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 parallel, parallel to these uh, studies with Ross, mm. I, 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 I bought a second-hand Creta Lauto, and you know, I was, I, I, I never took like lessons, but I was playing, you know, with, with the old people of my of the village where I was living in, mm. and so I, I, I start to play some tra traditional Cretan songs. Yeah. So uh, you mean? Uh... Uh, Rose was was teaching you Makam music then, uh, right? Uh, mm. y yes, I mean, uh, for example, he, he will always explain which Makam, uh, I mean, in which Makam is the, is every every piece. But really, yeah. for me, I was very shy to uh, to to do mm. too many questions. But mm. and 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 really, he was talking to me first in Greece in Greek. Mm -hmm. Uh, that you know, I, I start to learn because I, I was living in Crete, so I and, and I didn't know any English. So it mm. actually it was really good for me because you know I it, it pushed me to to learn every day, every day new new words and you know. So mm. the lessons were in Greek, mm. and mm. and he will talk to me as if I knew everything about Macau. <laughs> like from the very, uh, he never explained me, you know, this is Karchiar, which is like Ushak and then he just from Neva. No, no, no. It's like, okay, this is Karchiar, right? uh, 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 playing the, the phrase and this is, uh, you know, uh, Gerdanje or, or, or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. but every, all together, everything together, I, I still have this cassette, you know, mm. it's a, it's very, because it, it's very funny because I, if I listen to these cassettes, it's so funny how I mm. speak English, uh, Greek and, and you know, I, I can feel my, you know, <laughs> I, yeah, I can yeah. I can recall how I was feeling at the time because you know, imagine that you have this guy that you admire, and he's telling you in Greek, this is this first first part is in Cartier, the other part is in Ushak, the other part is in, and you don't know any any of these words, what they mean, what are they about, no? But really, uh, and this is something that I still keep. Uh, following this, this uh, philosophy, you know, when, when I study with somebody, mm. I really leave myself mm -hmm. go and, and really, I don't, I don't, I don't really make uh, many questions to my teachers. Mm -hmm. So, because yeah. I, 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 I don't, and I don't try to, to understand everything from the very first second. No, I, I, it's like a, yeah, it's, it's like you submit learning. yourself. You submit yourself to the master. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm. And, and I, I don't know. I, I, it's not something that I really decided, but it came like this. And and you know, also because also I'm teaching now. The last fifteen days, uh, fifteen years, sorry. Mm. I'm teaching. I really like when the when the students do that. I and also, of course, I I don't have any problem with questions and things like that. But sometimes, you know, you you. Of course, every student also is a different, is a different universe, no? Yeah. And and uh, I mean, a good teacher, I mean, a teacher that really loves to teach, he or she will teach you anyway. I mean, mm. uh, so uh, relax, <laughs> because some some people get a bit anxious, and it's normal, no? It's, it's like learning a, a language mm. from the scratch, no? And, and there are so many things that you don't understand in the beginning, you no? Know? The alphabet. If it's a language with a different alphabet, the grammar, the pronunciation, I mean, mm. if you if you try to understand everything in the beginning, you, you can get totally lost. Yeah. No? And this is very different... important, uh, Efren, because you are saying that he was teaching you everything all at once in a different yeah. language. I mean, a natural language with a different music language, with yeah, a yeah. new instrument. Uh, in a different place, and uh, you were not asking, and you were learning naturally. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is a lesson to all of us, really, about uh, learning and uh, like intervening into the learning process itself, which which maybe break it down apart, right? Mm. So yes. uh, I mean, 
Yeah. Especially with, uh, you know, Macam music, you know, I, I don't think that anybody in this planet can say that knows everything. I mean, it's something that is so huge mm. that all of us know a little bit, you know, and this is mm. a, a, something that is bigger than all, all of us. Mm. And uh, and this, this is the, also the, the thing, uh, uh, at least to me as a, as, a, as a, you know, somebody that, you know, comes from a tradition that doesn't use the Macam and music. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fascinating, really, because I mean, the, the, it's, a, it's a topic. I mean, a lot we say it's a stereotype. Uh, mm -hmm. The more you learn, the less you you know. But it's it's absolutely true. I mean, it's not that you know less, but you realize how big it is, you know, and how yeah. many possibilities. Uh, so and and actually, I mean, I, I I wouldn't say that he was giving Macam lessons to me. He was teaching uh, Balama Sas, mm -hmm. but you know, through the through the the, the tunes. He will tell me, tell me, no, this is a uh, Husseini phrase, you know, but I mean, okay, you, you learn the, the word Husseini, but then and, until the moment that you will really understand why this is called uh, Husseini and is not uh, called Muhayer or, you know, mm. Makams that are related to it, yeah. maybe it, it, maybe it will take 10 years. Yes. And, and I'm, not, I'm not exaggerating at all, I mean, 10, 10 years or even more. Yeah. At this, my, my, my case is like this. So, so why to rush? No, I mean, I mean, I mean uh, uh, there is no way. I, I, I don't know any musician that has learned this music in four years or five. <laughs> it's, it's, it's something something that takes a, a lifetime. I think really. Yeah. So, uh, uh, instead of breaking things down into pieces, let them fall in their places naturally. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, yeah, so it's, it's like total, total trust, no, to the to the teacher. Or, okay, if the teacher says that, okay, who who I am, no, to to yeah. to, to say that is not right. No? Yeah, I think being humble and uh, fully listening to a master uh, yeah. is really a very key thing in learning. And uh -huh. learning not like the the name of things or whatever information level. Yeah. That's yeah, superficial, yeah, yeah. and it's not a learning. It's not uh, mastering anything. But uh, we'll say it really, uh, friend. And how long did you stay with Rose on that? The, uh, it was six months. Mm. Uh, this, this stay in Creed was a, a, about six months. Mm. And uh, uh, regarding what you said about being humble, if you mm. if you allow me, I would like to tell something. Please. Because this is also something that really was was a tur turn. Uh, what's, what's in English? Turning point. Yeah, yeah. In my life, yeah. I mean, and it, this is something that I really didn't like uh, in, in in rock music. I, yeah. I, I don't, I, I don't say that everybody in rock music is an arrogant, but you know, uh, in pop or rock music, you have this this uh, character of the rock star, no pop star, no mm -hmm. somebody that that uh, you know is like wow, it's like a god, no, is is. So, so, and in, in traditional music, actually, you know, I, I really like uh, etymology of words. Mm. I really al always a, a kind of a bit obsessed with that. Mm. And tradition has a beautiful etymology in, uh, I mean, in Spanish or Catalan, my, my mother language, or mm. also in English. I mean, all, all the languages influenced by Latin. Mm. And tradition means to give through yourself, you know? Mm. The, the, the vision is to give the donare, and tra is through. No? Yeah. So, uh, so when you feel that you are contributing to 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 this to any given tradition, but even rock is like this. Even rock music, is like, even Western classical music is like this. I mean, we yeah. don't sometimes we don't realize that, but I, 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 we we don't realize how close we are sometimes. No. Mm. Uh, uh, the, the thing of this tradition is, I mean, you 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 must be a, a humble, no? Because you you feel that you really you are nothing. I mean, you are, I mean, uh, mm. you are only you know uh, one step, one how how you call these pieces of of the chains, no? I mean, yes. Mm. I, I mean, you 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 get something from your teachers, you know, from your from all records or, or mm -hmm. and you give it in a through your filter. You know, yeah. This is the tradition, no? And mm -hmm. then you 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 relax yourself, no? When when 
when you when you feel part of this big thing, this big tradition, you you don't have this. I think, of course, I, I would say that uh, there is also probably people with a, with big egos in this in this kind of music, mm -hmm. but in general, my feeling is uh, ego works much better for for folk music or rock and yeah. maybe it's, it's not the fault of the, of the musicians themselves but also the of the followers no and yeah. uh, and you know when 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 i i had this immense fortune of 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 having met having met many of, of my favorite musicians yeah. and even studying studying with them with them no taking yeah. lessons with them and it's incredible no because it's something that you will never it will it it will never happen, you know. If you, if you're a rock musician, you will, you will never, you know, mm. hang hang out with with your idols, no. Yeah. And in, yeah. in this music, uh, everything, or, or at least my experience is like this: everything is more close, is more not human, it's more mm. human, no. In 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 a, in, a, in, a, in one word. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. So what happened after these six months with Rose? So. Uh, that was mostly in Balama and uh, yeah, 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 and Balama and music, yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, with Balama, and he was teaching me, of course, what he knows, what his style of playing. Mm. That this is is more, you know, with his uh, uh, I mean, the, the tuning, the, the yeah. specific yeah. tuning, the techniques he uses, and which is which I love so much. You know, I really like his uh, way to play playing uh, Balama. Mm. But at some point, he told me that uh, a friend, I think it would be a, a good idea if you go now to to to, to Turkey to continue your, your study you know, with with other teachers. Mm. And uh, I think you can you can le learn a lot with them. Mm. And and OK, I, I, I it was not possible for me to do it, you know, right, right in the moment. But OK, this idea was like, you know, uh, stuck in my in my brain okay uh, mm. uh, and I, I i i did so a few years later i mm. think it was uh maybe four years three or four years later mm. Uh, mm. I, I i went to i think it was 2004 that i uh, or five yeah five five that i that i moved to 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 istanbul uh, uh, I moved to to Istanbul. You know the the, the band, this band I, I was talking about before, Lambda Folk was you know quite uh, successful actually in the in this uh, field of uh, world music. I don't like this word at all, but, yeah. but just to 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 be clear. And yeah. so I, I moved to to Istanbul, and and then I had lessons with two different teachers. Mm with actually totally different styles of playing. Mm -hmm. well, one of them was Mehmet and Lev. He, he plays the, the long long neck uh, Balama. Uh -huh. And uh, I, actually, I had met him uh, uh, previously in, in, in Crete. In a, he, he was giving a workshop in, in Crete. Mm. Uh, and I think that it was the first or second year of the labyrinth school in, of Rose Daily mm -hmm. in Crete, uh, and so I knew I knew that this man already, mm -hmm. and I really like him. He's a, a really a very pure gentleman, mm -hmm. very 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 nice man, very, very classic. Uh, I mean, very uh, conservative, but not in a uh, yeah. bad way. Or just you know, old mm -hmm. man, very you know traditional. But very, very, very nice sense of humor, really mm -hmm. funny man, and very, very sweet, really, mm. and very friendly, and you know, and well, welcoming, and and I asked him to to have lessons with him. He he doesn't speak a word in English, so I had to learn a little bit of Turkish to, you know, to mm. and but really, I'm not, I, I I can't speak Turkish at all. But okay, new some words, you know, just for music purposes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was studying in, in his school. He has a school in, in Istanbul, and mm -hmm. it was funny because you know I was the only adult in that, that school. The, all the other students were kids, mm. 
and, and they they used to laugh at me, you know, what are you doing here, no, with with us in the, the same in the same class? Yeah. But it was I was at the at the level, so to say. Mm. And but he was so so friendly and so helpful mm. to me all, all the time. And uh, you know, I I I I was uh, studying with him, you know, uh, more like. Uh, the area, the, the Aegean, Aegean Sea music, like from Smear, mm. uh, all this Zebek tradition. Uh -huh. And and but besides that, I I, I start start I start to to get lessons from uh, Rol Parlak as well. Rol Parlak. Uh -huh. He's a big master, and he, uh, this guy was is very very interesting because uh, you know in in the nineties or beginning of the two thousands. They have this uh, trio of Balamas, Erol Parlak, Erol Sinjan, and Arifsa. And they were devel developing a lot of the, the instrument. I mean, the instrument was already very rich. Mm -hmm. And it's actually, it's very, uh, uh, I forgot this, this name, this, this word, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a bit tricky because a lot of people, when they approach this instrument, the Balama, because you know, it's only three strings and, and a lot of people believe that this is an easy instrument to, to learn or, you know, a, a simple mm. one. But actually, like, you know... Uh, when, folk, folk instrument. Yeah, yeah, but my God, every mm. every area in, in Turkey has a different te technique, even different musicians, you know, create their own techniques and it's so rich, so rich. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, in this these three, three, three musicians I, I was talking about, they de they really develop a lot of the 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 technique. So they were kind of gathering, uh, or they create a compound uh, technique that you know mm -hmm. include se some of the regional techniques, you know, of uh, uh -huh. what they call uh -huh. shelpe with you know with the uh, I mean they they play with uh, the misrab, but also with fingers. Mm -hmm. With I mean they they, they create a, 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 a totally new technique. But actually, this technique was was uh, the fun fundamentals of, of of this uh, technique was all in the tradition. I mean, they, they didn't really invent anything new, but you know, just uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They create this 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 combination of this technique, which is incredible, no? And and actually, everybody uses now. Or, or and mm -hmm. and so I wanted to to dig in. A bit deep into into this uh, kind of uh, techniques, mm. and I I was studying with him also I mean, with with his two, two musicians. So the, the styles were really different. With uh, Rolpar, like I was studying, you know, uh, finger uh, playing with fingers, chelpe, mm. what, what, we, we, what we call chelpe, and with a uh, uh, the other extreme, the opposite extreme of of the Balama tradition. So it was really really good, and they were not you know. Uh, uh, it was not an, an obstacle for uh, for me, not to, to to study these two techniques at the same time because they were so different that they were not uh, colliding. You know? so, so. Uh huh. Interesting. Yeah. So these are two two masters that you stayed with in Istanbul simultaneously at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, any yeah. any any other uh, master in there? No. Uh, after, uh, besides of that, I was I was uh, taking old lessons with uh, Nejati Celik. Uh -huh. uh, master and uh, and um, and also uh, you know i used to go to these gatherings to the, the meshk gatherings uh -huh. uh, or, organized by uh, by omer Doular, the name master mm. so all so all this makam uh, sound start to to be, to be a part of my my vocabulary you know i mean mm. i start to to do all these connection connections you know when when you are a foreigner, foreigner you hear all these hundreds of uh, weird words you know that you don't know what 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 they mean and then you start to to create your own map you no know? and and, mm. and 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 be uh, be being aware, aware of how they in, uh, interact and how they are interconnected mm -hmm. and this was a, a, a huge step for, for me. It was a mm. huge step. Uh huh. Mm. And uh, you stayed there for how long? Uh, I think less than one year for sure. It was mm. not a year, but but uh, maybe also I was 
sometimes going to Spain to, to play and then going back. But, but actually from then on, every year, until actually quite recently, I, I used to go to, to Turkey, you know, to, to keep practicing and, and not only having lessons, because at some point I, I, I stopped to take lessons, but, yeah. but, you know, to be in the, in it, this atmo music atmosphere, no, like, you know, meeting uh -huh. uh, instrument makers or, uh, 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 French musicians or going to con to listen to music, you know, so because it's a mm -hmm. uh, Istanbul is such such a, a active, uh, uh, no, uh, city musically speaking, that uh, it's always there is always interesting things to to listen or to you know, yeah. Even you know, in, in these uh, gatherings with friends, are sometimes you can learn so many many things. You know? mm, it's interesting. not only it's not only about the let's say official. Lessons, but also gatherings and living this music in general. Yeah, exactly. So, can you reflect on on that time about the differences between these masters and the Mishk uh, experience, just to to show the differences or maybe some of the great stuff that you lived at the time? Yeah, uh, uh, of course. Each each one of them is a it's a totally different world, no? Uh, I mean, depending on, I guess, from on, on their background and, and you know, their... Mm. Uh, for example, uh, mm. uh, yeah, he's a, you know, this Turkey gentleman, so mm. nice, so nice man, so sweet and so funny. Mm. But, you know, very serious when he takes the instrument, it's very straightforward. I mean, mm. uh, uh, also, he never told me anything about theory. Or, no, no, just learning piece, piece after piece, piece, many, many pieces. No, mm. but you learn a lot about the phrasing. No, about the, the. I mean, by, by learning repertoire. No, and yeah. of course, and and he he was really good in something that I find really interesting. That also was a source of inspiration for me as a, as a teacher, mm. which is he will play something for me. And I was feeling that, wow, this is so difficult to play, yeah. but it's possible. Yeah. And this is really important, no? I mean, it's very difficult, but it's possible for you. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and he could, he was able to, you know, to, to de decompose, uh, I mean, the, yeah. the, 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 the whole thing yeah. into, you know, sections so you can learn every little movement of the finger so you get the same sound, mm -hmm. right? And, yeah. and and he and he was really good at, at that. I mean, some sometimes I, I was, you know, uh, uh, looking at the, his uh, um, hands. I was, uh, what what's going on? I I could I can't even uh, uh, memorize these these, these movements. No, but uh, so he will slow down and and so at the same time he's presenting this music and something something huge and big as as it should be because mm -hmm. it is huge. Mm. But at the same time, he's giving you hope, the hope, no, and mm. and not, uh, you know, also as a, as a foreigner, you know, being an, an intruder, so to say, in all these uh, in all these um, uh, traditions. Mm. You, sometimes you, you you have this complex, no, of, of uh, it depends a lot on, on the on how the others interact, but. <laughs> but I had also very bad experiences. Not not yeah. many, but some of them they it, it, they can really kill you, know, kill all your, your mood and uh, and and. Yeah. Uh, but he was really really kind, and I, I really I, I will never forget this this uh, this lesson also. Not only the music lesson, but this this ability to 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 you know to encourage people to to yeah. to keep playing, no. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, Erol Parlak. Uh, was a uh, was a different a different uh, uh, behavior and relationship. It was uh, private les private lessons, while mm -hmm. you know, my le le lessons were like group lessons. But mm -hmm. actually, he was very often focusing on me because you know I was the only that couldn't speak uh, Turkish. I was the elder, you know, because all the other were kids, and yeah. so uh, he was really really kind. And the old parak was more you know like a, more like. A, very serious always very serious very serious uh, teacher mm. and uh, but he he also told me he was very very sure of his method methodology mm. he, he he used to tell me 
if you play exactly what I tell you, you will sound exactly as I sound. Mm. I mean, he, he was very sure, very sure of mm. what he was teaching, no? But he was, I, I don't want this to sound bad, or, but he was very tough in the, in, the, in the sense. I think maybe also the problem was the, the language because uh, also we, we couldn't communicate in a common language. Mm. So, and this sometimes creates a kind of a distance, no? And, uh, mm. and so it was more cold, no? More like, okay, we have the, the lesson and, and, but after, actually after the years, I mean, mm. you know, I, I, I went back to Spain and after the years, he wrote me once, you know, actually on Facebook, he posted mm. something about, about one song that I had recorded that he told me, told me mm. actually, and yeah. he was like very proud and happy, you know, that mm. look, my, my, my Spanish student, he's mm. uh, proving that this music is, is not only for Turkish people. If you work hard, you can, you can play it mm. wherever you, you come from. Right. Interesting. And this was also really beautiful from from his side. No, I mean, really yeah. be beautiful. Uh, mm. uh, yeah. yeah. What about Najati Celik? Najati Celik is also very mm. <laughs> uh, is is a very classical musician. But this is exactly what I wanted. You know, I didn't want to to study. I mean, with all my my respect, but but I didn't want to study with a young player. Without experience, no. I, with what what I really like from Nejatin Celik is, you know, that he's there for so many years, and you know, he was a, a, a solist, wood uh, player in the National mm. Orchestra, and um, and uh, he also organized these mess sessions. He has this his office, as as he calls it, mm. and it's a place with you have like you know twenty woods hanging on the wall. And uh, he's teaching, you know, Ottoman classical repertoire, and and giving you, you know, some clue about the seir of the of each makam and mm. and yeah, and it was really nice to study also with him. And I, I really like his style of his sound. It's mm. very classical, no, very. Mm. And this is what I wanted to, you know. I mean, I, I always try to to go to the source of of uh, the styles of music. That, I, I like right yeah and uh, and it, this was uh, it was really really interesting also another thing that he used to do with me and mm. probably with with all of his students that he he will invite me to the rehearsals of the nation of the turkish national orchestra. Uh -huh. imagine no what what a luxury for me mm. for a for a guy a guy from my says not to be there sitting next to him and he he of course i won't wasn't allowed to play because no it is, it is a rehearsal, but I was allowed to keep the, the scores to and to read, yeah. to read them. Mm. And it's funny also because I, I never had a, a music a, a, like a, a academic training in, in, in Spain, no? mm. but in Turkey I had to learn to to to, to mm. read also notes because I didn't I didn't know yeah. the to, Turkish so, score, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> my, my first actually this this was my training as a as a. Reading, reading music is a, is a Turkish system, no? It's a, the first music I, I ever read. Yeah. And, and so I, I learned so many things, so many mm. things, no? By, by doing that. So, he could, so I, could, I could analyze somehow, no? How different, I could realize how different is the, the, the written music compared to the, to the actual playing of the musicians, no? How they mm. embellish the melodies and go around the notes and so it, you can really learn a lot and, and and actually i really recommend this this training for musicians mm. no if, if you are able to read notes to listen yeah. good performances of of you know of, of arabic or, or turkish or Persian music mm. with uh, reading the scores at the same time yeah of course of course not, not always but it's interesting no to see how how there is a code no there is, there is a, yeah. a, a local code for, for each tradition Mm. about uh, how to uh, perform music. Mm. Interesting. So, so um, uh, Najati was teaching one-to-one -one or as a group? No, no, one-to-one. Uh, one-to-one. One. One one. What about Meshk? The last thing to remember about this Yeah, group. yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Meshk, I, I have done a few times with uh, with uh, Omer Doular, the, the, the mm. main master. Mm. Yeah, but the same, no? It was really... <laughs> 
Yeah. Like really in your face uh, feeling for me, no? Because really yeah. I was very uh, a total beginner in the, in the world. Okay, I I already had some technique. I mean, technically I was able to play few things, yeah. but uh, about uh, theoretical knowledge I was very very beginner. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I some some uh, scholars had a, had a. Did, did this research, you know, uh, this parallelism between spoken mm. word and music, you no? Know? Yes. How, uh, uh, because, you know, a kid, if you have a child, you no, know, mm. you, for the, for the first day of his or her life, you start mm. talking a language that you master already in Arabic or Spanish or whatever, and the kid is just, you know, you know, de- taking all this, uh, all this, uh, t- tsunami of information no all in once i mean yes. you, don't, you don't tell to the kid about grammar or alphabet or pronunciation it's all in once so it is yes. the same thing no so this mesh for me was uh, especially for me as a, as a foreigner you know as uh, it was a, an amazing an amazing uh, uh, experience uh, process process and and uh, actually omer Dular is very known in in crete and in hudetsi mm. for his uh, you know for, the, for his uh, lessons in, in which sometimes he he, can, he might play the same ilahi or same or one per se or whatever for you know 10 hours you know? Wow. or a whole day one the, sa- the same per se without uh, doing any comments or anything and you and and you know, I have done it a few times with him and you can see how how things start to build you know, mm-hmm. by themselves I mean you don't need oh, no uh, 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 every so and so, he ca- he might say something. You no, know? if, if somebody's doing something really wrong or or just a, as a giving some extra information. You no, know? look, mm. uh, notice this note. You know, when we go down, it's a bit lower or this or that. Now we tune it like that or like this. And uh, but the, the most of the of the time is something that is so important for musicians, which is ear training. You no. Know? Is training, yeah. uh, and, and this is something that happens all the time when, when you are surrounded by people that already know this music. Mm. Is is the best the best uh, lesson you can get. No, uh, also, in the, regarding to Meshk, there is this uh, this uh, woodmaker Ramazan Jai, mm. if you know him, mm-hmm. in Istanbul, and he 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 has a in his uh, workshop is a huge place, and he has a special place for Meshk. Uh-huh. You know, and uh, once a week, I think they they gather there, and I, I I have been there a few times, and it's incredible. Really, this is a, again another experience that you will never have if you will play rock music or pop, mm. because you no, know, you go you get there and you see all these faces of old men and women that are that you you know from you know from recordings from YouTube videos that they are, they are masters, no master players, mm. and they are playing uh, facile music, you know. Yes, uh, and and sometimes they they can they might tell you, a friend, play a taxi, mm. and, and, and it's so see this is so frightening, no? Because it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the worst nightmare. It happened to me many times in in Istanbul, mm. uh, especially. Mm. Uh, I remember also once I I I, I bought a, a, a wood, a new mm. wood, and I, uh, so I went to, to to take it from the from the maker. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and I, I get into into the, the his workshop, you know, and it, there was, uh, I think the Jadi was there, the Jadi mm. uh Farouk, uh, the, the mm. maker also was there, uh, Mustafa Jogjoglu also. Mm. I mean, uh, uh, amazing makers and Ramazan also. I mean, makers and mm. players, no? Yeah. And, and you are very happy because oh, I I have my new wood. Okay, yeah. you, do you take it? And they tell you, please play something for us, no? Oh. And then it, you you really want you want to die, no? Because like, <laughs> what what can I play in front of you? <laughs> no way, no. But it's yeah. it's funny because this happened a lot of times to us in also in Hudetz, you know, in, in Crete, in the mm. Cross Daily School in Labyrinth. Mm. You know, yeah. I, I remember also one day I was playing with Stelios Petrakis mm. and in front of me I had Erkano Wood, Delia Turkan, mm. Rose Daly, 
Kelly Thomas, Yural Tochan, Boxel Bactair, all of them, you know, are like this. Yeah. <laughs> Staring at you, no? And you're supposed to play a taxi. What What can you play in this? It's, it's horrible, really. It's, but you have like, to, right? <laughs> you have to. You have to. And, and it's, a, it's a kind of a, a learning also, of course. It's a, exactly. It's a, it's a bit tough, but it's something that you have to, to do. No? Yeah. And I'm sure you have experienced this all the time you were in Istanbul in that first year. Everywhere yeah. in school, after school gatherings, and that's yeah. really enriching, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm. And, and of course, it's, it's not it's not nice. It's, it's not easy, mm. and it, it can be you. It can be bring you down, really. I, I mean, yeah. many times I have many crises, no? Because you you <laughs> suddenly feel you, feel you find yourself mm. in a situation that you think, mm. what I'm doing here? Why why do I do this these things? <laughs> no, but and, but actually. I believe that sometimes, you know, uh, this. Um, I, I I know these uh, stories about about some friends of mine from mm -hmm. from Iran, from from Turkey, from the Arab world. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the the role of the teacher sometimes is a bit tough also, and and it, there is a purpose behind that, and. Uh, I, I, I won't say the name, mm -hmm. but, but but I was playing. It's not something bad at all, but I, I think yeah. it's, it's not. It's, it's better to keep it like, like secret. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know, for example, this kind of thing that some, sometimes happens. No, uh, I was in a concert with uh, Turkish musicians. Mm. I think I was. Yeah, I was the only foreigner. All the other yeah. were musicians and really good musicians, really, really top. Mm. No. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and of course I prepared the repertoire, you know, as 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 good as I, as I could. No, it, the, mm. the, the repertoire wasn't wasn't uh, hard. It mm. was, you know, was mostly was like Turku, like like uh, folk songs, you know, or or, uh, or Sharki that were that difficult. I mm. mean, something that I could manage, and I had plenty of time also to practice. So yeah. I was practicing yeah. a lot, and I also knew where I have to. Where, where I'm supposed to play the taxims. Maybe it was mm. a couple of taxims in all the concert. So I prepare them, no? So yeah. I, so you can think about several modulations or, you know, you, you can just mm -hmm. get into this macam and, and try to do yeah. the best. You know your so, way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And, but the concert was quite well, where, where uh, went quite well. And in the bass and the encore, mm. we were supposed mm -hmm. to play a song <laughs> and the, this, uh, the, 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 the maestro of the band, no, the, the director of the band, uh, right before the, 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 the song starts, mm -hmm. he says, "A friend, Taksim." And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, and 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 you know, I pretend that I didn't. Hear him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was, he repeat, "A friend, a friend, Taksim, Taksim." Mm -hmm. What? What? Taksim? Now play. And really, it made me so, so, I think it was Vestenigar or something. I mean, a, a heavy macam, you know, that it's not easy to. Yeah. But, but okay, I, 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 I did my best and, and people was happy, was clapping and, and things, mm. no, but, but, and this, these situations, I don't, I don't wish them even for my enemies, you know, but, <laughs> the, but the truth is that, that, uh, they make you uh, uh, stronger, uh, grow, 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 no, grow, mm. and and also relax a little bit. I I I I, I would say relax. I mean, and not taking yourself so seriously. I mean, mm. of course, I, we. I mean, music is something really serious for me. Yeah. But yeah. okay, my my taxims, I'm sure, weren't perfect at all. But you know, actually, Omer Doular has a very funny story about, about about that you know when he was uh, he was um, young he was uh, invited to play in the tv in turkish tv uh -huh. and 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 his teacher uh, uh, i mean he, he he was to play supposed to play a taksim in uh, Evjara, i think mm -hmm. and he played a very beautiful taksim you know very expressive and with a lot of ideas and imagination creativity so mm. the next day he went to to, to his teacher, who's to his master, and mm. and and asked him, no, master, did you like 
uh, my, the, the Taksim, uh, the Evjara Taksim I played, mm -hmm. his, his master was, uh, the, your, your Taksim didn't have anything to do with Evjara, but it was fantastic. It was, <laughs> it was really beautiful. But, but uh, so it's, it's, so it's, uh, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, this this master uh, student is never uh, ending. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, and, of course. and these are the things that really build the muscles. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, really build the musician. Uh, a friend, uh, we really didn't feel the time. It's so amazing the way you tell about things and your experience. Let's have a break here and choose one of your pieces. Uh, okay. Please choose one and tell us about it. And let's listen together with Al Nadi viewers. Okay, uh, the first piece I choose is a uh, actually alphabetically is the first in order <laughs> because <laughs> because because it's it's called A A A A A A A seven times A. Uh -huh. it's, it, 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 I, I know that it looks like a stupid name or but yeah. it, it has a it's a it's a kind of it's not not a joke but something related to actually. A, 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 uh, a group of, of students I used to have in when uh, when I was living in Valencia mm. around 2008 to 2010. Mm -hmm. I have a quite big group of students, and we used to do, to do like a, not mesh, but you know, but but you know, uh, group lessons, group lessons. Mm. And we we named this this uh, this uh, group Asociación de Amigos de Anatolia y Afganistán Abel Al Abar. Uh -huh. Like it's, it's seven times a yes is an association of friends of Anatolia, which is you know the the, the, the land of the Balama, because uh -huh. they were I was teaching them both Balama and Afghan Ruba, uh -huh. and uh, uh, association de amigos, I mean uh, association of friends of the Anato of Anatolia and mm -hmm. Afghanistan of Abin al Abar that actually was a, a Arab a poet mm -hmm. from Valencia, and this was the the it was the name of the street where I was living at the time. Uh -huh. ben uh -huh. uh, it was named under under this uh, Arab po poet. Uh -huh. uh, and and, and this, is, this is a and and it's because it's, it was actually it was the I think the first or no not the first but one of the first compositions that I wrote for the rubab for the Afghan rubab that maybe we can talk later about about that instrument and yeah and and this uh, yeah is uh, I combine few traditions so to say in this uh, track and uh, it's, it's, uh, I, I wrote it on the on the on the ruba but it has some aspects of I would say of Iranian music also Indian rhythm some mm. some, some Indian uh, phrases uh, mm. rhythmical phrases and and we, we record this uh, together with uh, Stelios Petrakis my mm -hmm. very good friend and amazing instrument maker and musician and composer Mm -hmm. And from Crete, he plays Lira in this track, and uh, Bijan Shemirani, uh, also great per percussionist, Zarp tomba player mm -hmm. from Iran, Iran and France. Yeah, son of uh, Jamshid Shemirani. Mm -hmm. And we, we have this trio, and this is uh, one of the first uh, songs that we record together in 2011. Interesting. We'll listen to it then.
Uh, Efren, uh, let's now talk about uh, the practice. Uh, what is uh, now? I know that you are multi-instrument, multi-linguist, <laughs> and you didn't need a school for any of these beyond many other things that I know about you. <laughs> and uh, let's talk about practice and uh, considering the many instruments. What's a good practice, really? Yeah, this is uh, also a big question mm. for me because, as, as you say, that I I, I I like to use a, a lot of instruments in my music. Mm -hmm. I think this is also a, a a result of of how I see myself as a musician. Mm. And this is also something that also makes me really relax because you know when mm. when they ask me what is your main instrument I, I never know what, what to, to to answer mm. and uh, it makes me very relaxed in terms of you know I don't consider myself a nude player and a bagelma player a mm. hardy hardy player and you know makes things much cooler mm. and but a composer so I, I, I mean all these things things we are talking about about even the theoretical um, knowledge and, and learning mm. is more about i mean all this the goal of all of, of all this uh, knowledge is to create music to, to for me creativity is something really important mm. and uh, and even when when you are playing you know traditional music but the approach i, I always try to be a bit creative no mm -hmm. so uh, 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 regarding practice uh, this is a big problem for me sometimes because mm. uh, some of the instruments I play have a totally different techniques you know? mm. so you can't you can't uh, you have to practice all one or or the other mm -hmm. so for some videos but again sometimes you know the the, the my path itself the, is, is the determining what I'm practicing at at, uh, at each uh, you know point stage of, of my path mm -hmm. or so usually you know the, the, the instruments I consider that I have practiced more or st studied in, in depth in more depth is wood, Balaman, all the Balama family instruments, mm -hmm. Rubab, mm -hmm. Rubab and, and Hardy Gardy. I think these four instruments, of course you have then you know Lafta or other instruments that are for me more sec secondary. Yes. And of course, there is always this, you know, when you first get the instrument and you are, are very excited about it, and this mm. discovering process is really, really nice, no? Mm. And 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 maybe you 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 are more focused on, on this instrument for 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 a while. Well, mm. But now, you know, all these instruments I play now, I start to play them twenty more than twenty years ago. So mm. for me, for me, they are already my my. my home no they are yeah. home from they are, they are, yeah. no, there is no the, the excitement of the of the new thing is for me is is my music yeah but i still practice and really i i believe that i practice no now more than ever in my life mm. uh, but for me uh, you know as the way i see music is is not only you know usually we connect practice this concept of practice with you know exercises like, like physical practice right mm -hmm. and of course it's very important and, and you know I, I really really appreciate the a good technique in a musician of course is 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 the is, is, is the the way you can reflect you know or, or, or transfer your your feelings to the to, mm -hmm. to the audience to the yes. instrument uh, but for me it's just a part of of the training uh -huh. right? so so uh, uh, so i it, and also, I, I don't, I don't agree with, so much with this du dualistic way of thinking. You no, know, we are very used to, to to hear this kind of comments about one musician. This guy plays with his heart. This guy with play play with his mind. Mm. For me, for me, really, this I don't, I don't feel this separation. Yeah. And I, I really believe that we can, and actually, we do play with with both. Or, or heart, or soul, or spirit, or mind, whatever you you want to name it. Yeah. Uh, so musical training for me is nearly everything I do in my life, mm. and 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 this is also a very nice aspect of, I think, of knowing what you want to do in life, mm. what is your your purpose, 
because then everything becomes very easy to to judge to discern you know, what mm. what what is good for your life or, or what is not so if i know that I'm, i i want to be a musician and a, a very certain and a specific tar- a kind of musician yeah. for me it's, it's very easy to to i mean whatever helps to me to to become a better musician in this that direction mm-hmm. is good for my life i, I keep it in mm-hmm. my life whatever is a, is a is an obstacle to it mm-hmm. I, I i reject it mm-hmm. and so I, maybe I, i'm getting too philosophical but 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 I, I mean what what i do every day as as a daily practice i i i i have all these all these um uh variety variety of, of uh, different kinds of practice from yeah. you know from metronome practice like really like uh, I, i'm quite obsessed with uh, with a uh, with a good tempo you know, with a, with mm-hmm. with, uh, uh, with the rhythmical skills that's why also i have the, all these all these <laughs> drums in the wall I, yeah. although yeah. I, i'm not a, a percussionist at all but i really like to play percussion is something that i will recommend to re- recommend to everybody yeah. i mean to to all you know to every people that plays uh, melodic instruments to to be able to play even simple stuff we don't need to you know to mm. become a virtuoso percussion players yeah but uh, i think it's really important to to be able to keep a solid tempo and you know the percussion is the best um, option for that to, to to learn to play a little bit of my favorite instruments are the, the duff the, the iranian duff mm. and you know all these frame bumps I, i'm really into it last mm. years and so I really like the, 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 yeah, this, this rhythmical practice. For example, uh, I was talking previously about uh, Indian music. I, I had some studies on Indian music, very superficial, but, but okay, I, I could take some, some, some things that I actually apply to the music. Mm. Uh, um, and rhythmically, for example, is one of the traditions that I feel is more advanced more sophisticated right yeah so so i i, I you know I, I write my own exercises like you know indian tea highs or, or this nearly mathematical games no with, with music i really like mm. like this uh, like also in the previous song in a a a a a a yeah uh, you can you can hear some of these um, mm. fra- kind of phrasings no? yeah uh, so uh, and then uh, I, I get a lot of inspiration from from other musicians. No, I'm, I I'm, I I listen quite a lot of music in, at home, yeah. and and you know you can so for example talking about oud. No, how many different yeah. styles? I mean, we we tend to 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 simplify it. No, there is Turkish style, there is Arabic style, but what is this? I mean, yeah. in, in in Turkey you can find only in Turkey you can find so many styles of playing. Of course, there is a certain uh, aesthetics, no, that that, that, yeah. uh, that that fit better actually with the repertoire. But there are so many. Actually, this is also, also something really, uh, really interesting to to, to mm. realize how how the the musicians that that uh, kind of change the music or, or make it made it you know improve or, or develop. All of them were very innovative, no, at, at their time, no. Yeah. For example, my, one of my youth uh, uh, favorite wood players, actually, actually one that that made me uh, think about okay, I want to to study Turkish uh, music was mm. Gino Centali Korur, the, the Turkish master. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And, and you know the, why the the way I mean why I like him is because uh, he's so unique. I mean there is nobody that can play like like him. I, I, there is of course. He created this school, no? and, and and a lot of people follow his, followed yeah. his, uh, his style. But you know, if he plays two notes, you know that 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 is a uh, Jimmy Chen. Record. Yes, and and this is something that I really appreciate in music: the mm. the unicity, unicity. Yes. You know, even if you belong to a strong tradition like Jimmy Chen, but he was he he managed to be unique. Exactly. And and this training of trying to be unique, I think, was also important. I mean, if mm-hmm. we want to really to say something with the music, first of all, we need things to say. Mm-hmm. It's very obvious, but but uh, 
So for me, even, you know, going to excursion with uh, some friends or having a chat with you or, or mm -hmm. this is also a training, musical training for me because mm -hmm. Or having life experiences, you no. Know, even if they are hard things, you no, know, difficult times, or very happy times, the opposite. Or you, also, especially this Macam music, on all the modern music, also Indian music. Something that is really unique is the the huge range of emotions it can express. You no. Know? Yes. I, I I recall recently I was in a concert of a friend of a friend here in Spain. Mm. He was a piano player. Mm. And it's a concert that I didn't enjoy so much. He, the, the guy was playing amazing, amazing technique, but he was presenting his own songs, saying the next song is a very sad song mm. because it's in, because it's in minor tonality. <laughs> the, the next song is a very happy song because it's in major tonality. So, mm. so at the end of the concert, so this common friend asked me, did you like the concert? And I, I had to, to tell her, you know, with all my respect, uh, I didn't enjoy it so much because uh, for me, the human being is much more complicated, no? That and this is the beauty of, of being a human, no? The, all the mm -hmm. different emotions, and for me, again, talking about duality, mm -hmm. I f I think that you can be happy and sad at the same time. Yeah. For example, yeah. a feeling like nostalgia is yeah. a beautiful sad. Uh, uh, feeling, for example, no. Yeah. So and and Indians are are the best, I think, for that. They have so many so many ragas, no, so many moods in the the music that they can express so many emotions. And yeah. also in in our Macam music, no. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I I think it's, it 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 can really f reflect the complexity of 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 human spirit, no. Yeah. So, so in order to express these emotions, we, we need to know them. And there is no way to know them by a book, no? Or by a, you mm -hmm. know, even if you read all the novels in the world, you, 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 I mean, you, you need to experience them, no? So, yeah. so living, living is, it's very simple, actually, living a life yeah. and, and being aware of, the, of your emotions every time, no? When you are having yeah, hard times or good times or, you know, just normal times, uh, yeah. like flat times, and uh, is I think is is this is also another kind of training, no? Mm. Also theory. I, I really like to read about music. I read a lot mm. about music. I, I some some people is really uh, kind of uh, rejecting no this this uh, this uh, theoretic knowledge, but I really love it, and and it really helps me, no? As a, maybe because I'm a foreigner, and mm. I I need also maybe to. To you know, to to reach, or, or to you know, to get into this world through this uh, you know theory, yeah. maybe. But mm. it helps me, and and it's it it makes me more mm -hmm. uh, aware of, of certain things, and yeah, and it's, it makes me you know, I all day either uh, practicing, I mean, with so many many hands, or reading a book or so you are in this atmosphere all the time no yeah of, yeah of this of this music and this is important for me mm -hmm. interesting what about gymnastics you you mean like <laughs> like, <laughs> like like yeah i mean <laughs> uh, practice uh, part of of the practices the gymnastics uh, gymnastics uh, and sometimes a routine in a practice right oh yeah yeah I, I, you mean yeah. I, okay mm -hmm. yeah 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 no I, I you know this is also very interesting I don't know about other teachers that you interview here, mm. but for me, uh, a, a very, a really, really um, nice way to learn how to play mm. or how I play it was to teach other other people. No, mm. so so when when you teach, you you really need. I mean, if you want to teach well, to to you know to give all the information, mm. you really need to 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 to. To see you play with, you know, with a microscope, and, mm. and and see all the little nuances that you are doing in order to, you know, to transfer them to the to the yeah. student, and it helped me a lot in this in this sense. So I, now I have a kind of a method, and yeah, of course I, I do also this this kind of practice. For example, this uh, what I was telling about, about the the rhythm, no, the practice mm. with the rhythm. This is also a, is also a very mm. good training that combines, you know, the physical thing of of you know. Difficulties mm. that you, you you will 
you will face when you you play like weird rhythms or complicated with with the also the, the theory you know of, of the, mm. the maths or the mathematics of of rhythm mm. so for example uh, if uh, if we talk about uh, balama mm. it, you know it has a different gymnastics than mm. wood for example yes. or for example hardy gardy has nothing to do with any other instrument <laughs> in, in, the, in the whole planet, probably. So, yeah. uh, so uh, the hardy guard is, a, is an instrument that I need to, you know, to, to keep playing every, every day. Because otherwise, uh, I mean, if I play a lot of balama and I take the the wood, I mean, the muscles are the same. I mean, mm. the movements, the movements are different, but but the kind of of you know the, of motion is quite, mm. quite similar. Quite similar. Yeah. I'll, I'll see the, in the in the left hand. Mm -hmm. For example, I I, I wrote. A, a list of exercises mm. I, I, I did it because you know sometimes I, I, and as a tour, touring musician mm. uh, sometimes you spend for example a, a couple of days traveling and you can't practice at all in two days and for yes. me this is a this is a nightmare you know because really you can you can feel it after, you know, after two yes mm. and what I, I i i developed a table of uh, 60 mm. 60 exercises Mm. And that last one minute, so uh, so you can put you can use your your even your clock as a mm. as a metronome. Is, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, and 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 it, it combines all the different. I mean, includes all the different combinations of fingers. So one mm. two one mm. two, uh, one three one three one four three four three four two things like mm. that. Yeah. So it's mm. it's a kind of boring uh, exercise. Mm. That you can you can do while you re even read a book, no? because it's something mm. that is really mechanical, but is a is a is really good for for warm, 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 warm. Mm. Then uh, about uh, half theoretical, half uh, gymnastic mm. practice, mm. I also like to to you know to to copy or to imitate or mm. uh, taxims, for example. You can take a taxim that you like, you know. You can yeah. slow it down. So it's a, it's, a, it's a, I mean, you can, you might find some techniques that you don't, you don't know, or, or you know that you need to to, to develop. But mm -hmm. also you have the 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 seir practice. So exactly. To say, so so mm -hmm. you can, for example, I actually now for for I we are we have a concert next week. Mm -hmm. uh, on uh, we played Ottoman music uh, and religious. Uh, no, Ilahis and, mm. and things like that, and and so I, I'm I'm taking we we play four four or five makams like mm -hmm. Ajema Shiran, Sef Kesa, uh, I know Bestenigar. Uh, so I I I know the makams already, but really I, I want to be in this atmosphere yeah. for, for for the whole week. So mm -hmm. I I I download a lot of uh, you know uh, taxims in in Ajema Shiran. I transpose them all to the to the key I'm using, which is this. Mm. Uh, uh, so I can hear them all in the same in the same pitch. Mm. Yeah, you know, and 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 find phrases that can inspire me. And mm. you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, at the same time, it's like a physical practice, but also uh, mm. yeah, theoretical practice. Interesting. And then you will for sure touch into the exactness of these. Uh, tones and the intervals and the ornamentation the styles of course, yeah, yeah. whatever you all get... these kinds of musics that you play yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. you get you get ideas from all the great players no? and, yeah. interesting uh how about taking another piece mm. maybe maybe you can you can choose but uh, mm. we are now talking about ah look we were we were talking before about um the balama, this instrument. Yes. And maybe if, if, if you want, we can listen one 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 piece I wrote, mm -hmm. which is like, which is like for me it was like a kind of tribute to to all the all the balama teachers I had in my life. Uh huh. I, 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 I we didn't mention the two two more teachers that mm. I mean I, I was studying with them late, later on but never like private lessons but you know in, in workshops uh -huh. uh, actually workshops in labyrinth both in in Greece and in Catalonia in Spain uh -huh. 
and and they are Erdal Sinjan, which is a big big uh, name in, in the world of Baglama, mm. and Erkano, uh, uh, which is also one of my favorite musicians, very mm. very innovative musician, but also very rooted in mm. Turkish music, and so in this uh, in this uh, tune I play. All the all the family of you know of Baglamas from Jura from the very small one Chour, Long Neck, uh, Divan the huge one Kopus, uh -huh. and and, uh, and I use all the techniques I I, I learned from those masters. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, and uh, actually it it uh, is written in the form of uh, Zebek, this uh, dance from the Aegean coast of of Turkey. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is something that you do with you with all your respect, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I mean, some of, many of my compositions actually are not based in a specific tradition, but this one is the opposite. This really mm -hmm. it it intends to be a, 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 you know a tra kind of traditional uh, um, mm -hmm. zebek. Of course, mm -hmm. there are some some of my own, you know. Yeah, uh, three yeah. tricks here and there, but but yeah, actually it, it can be dance. And, and actually, some Turkish friends told me that a friend is, this is a pure zebek. You we can dance it really like a old composition and bravo, blah, blah. So it's a it's a very 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 beautiful feeling. So what is this piece name? It's called Kurtolo Zebe. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And Kurtolo cool. Kurtolo means uh, the son of the wolf, mm. which is what my surname. Uh, means so uh -huh. so it's, it's, it's kind of the the back of no? <laughs> interesting we'll listen to it then together
a friend uh, how do we build the musicality yes uh, musicality i mean i i think i mean some people believe that is a is a a gift no that you you are gifted with with mm. that when, when you are born and some people are and some some are not but really musicality is, is something that is really beyond i think practice i mean mm. gymnastics as we were mm. talking before and uh, i think it's a it's a it's a mixture of many many different things mm. from from of course ear training like listening a lot of music mm. listening and listening carefully which is something that we don't do we don't do so much you know, in, in our times yeah where, where everything goes so fast and but uh, you know I, I have this uh, chance to living here alone in a very really tiny village mm. and so I, I I can I can I'm, I'm able to, to manage my time the most of the times you no know? I, I mean if I'm at home I can manage it in, in my, my own way so I, I can really dedicate a lot of time to to listen to music from a yeah from from different perspectives I'm from a, the, the composer mentality you no know, trying to get ideas from a new composition from the player mentality trying mm -hmm. to get ideas of how to play the technique or just you know as a as a yeah for to build musicality I mean to to mm -hmm. to, to to open your your mind and, and you know because I think a big part of this music we play is, a, is to have a strong imagination. I mean, to, to mm. be able to imagine things that doesn't have doesn't exist yet. You know? mm. uh, uh, and it, uh, really, I think musicality. Uh, uh, we said before that you know I I, I left school very very soon, mm. so I don't have any official studies, mm. but thanks to the music, really. And actually, because I wanted really to understand all these different styles I, I play and their context, so it that led me to 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 learn first of all some languages that you know first English, which is you know the Esperanto mm. of, of our times, mm. and also, also Greek because I was living there for a few years. Mm. But also, you know the I mean I, I, some I have some idea of a Turkish or very very basic stuff mm. but also you know from history to geography to art of course I, I really love uh, architecture so mm. uh, uh, I mean at some point I, I was asking myself why you like all these things no? and, and all of them really are related to the to the styles of music I, I play mm -hmm. I, I didn't even mention medieval music but I really, I, I really a lot of uh, medieval music with several ensembles yeah. so all, all this uh, you know I, I have a uh, I have a lot of uh, books here I, I mean I'm sitting yeah. in front of them now and all of them for me are somehow connected to, to music yeah. what, with, with uh, whatever uh, book you choose from my from my library I can tell you w which connection it has with with the music i, I love no and all mm -hmm. of them ha have it no uh, most most of them are about you know, music itself of course but yeah. then you know, architecture history i really love history mm. uh, religion you know and and yeah so all kinds of uh, uh, everything is connected mm. yeah yeah of course uh, also you know mm. i was born in a in a non-religious uh, family in spain mm. But uh, you know, as, as soon as I grow up, uh, I start to because also I I I, I realize that many of the styles of music I, I I liked actually, actually many of them, many many of them. Also, you know, Western medieval music uh, mm -hmm. is really connected with with uh, Western spirituality, you know, or mm -hmm. or a lot of Turkish music I, I play is connected, you know, to to the Mevlevi order or you know or other other yeah. so is uh, it it makes you think why you know? why why i like this why, why this music touched me so so deeply so mm. you want to learn more no? and mm. and uh, again go, coming back to etymology yes. the, the word the word religion mm. in 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 spanish and english and all the latin languages 
is a, is a, is a very beautiful etymology. Too. Mm. You know, I don't know in, Ara in Arabic, but in, uh, in, uh, in English, for example, it's, uh, it comes from Latin again, mm. from religare. Ligare means like a bounding, uh, creating a bound or you know, linking something or, or mm. tie, tie it. Mm. And raise doing it again. I mean, mm. it's connecting you again with your origin. Uh -huh. so, so in this sense, I think everybody is a religious. Everybody mm. is religious in the sense that, you know, even the, the punk musicians that they, they, think, <laughs> they, think, they think they are not religious, they do are religious yeah. for, in, in my vision, no? because mm. everybody feels, it, I think this is very human, no? To, mm. to, to, uh, this question is very human, no? Why, why we are here, how we came here, and what, what is the purpose of this mm. crazy, crazy world, no? Mm. And, uh, and so, uh, Interesting. And music took me to all, to all these thoughts. It's incredible, no? Because yeah. I, I, in the beginning, I I just wanted to play the bandurria, no? This this little mandolin. Yeah. And and the, the music, the I mean, the, this aura of music, no? What is around the music mm. made me discover so so many things, no? And in uh, the, the interactions, no? And maybe it's a protection as well, right? It has protected you. Music, music. in the early days, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, this is this is crazy because really, 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 and mm. when I, uh, you know, in my in my teenage mm. teenager uh, mm. years, mm. Uh, it's and especially in my area. Mm -hmm. Actually, if if you ask to everybody in Spain mm. about Valencia mm. in the in the la, la, late eighties or early nineties, this this place was famous because because of the drugs, you know, and the crazy parties and the disco and, the, and the, these kind of things. Mm. And really, I don't know how, how lucky I, I was, I was, no, how, mm. because I, 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 I always, always, not at the time, but now, no, I can see that it, it's that I had an angel always protecting me, no, because, mm. because, and, and, and I was surrounded by that all the time. I, mean, I, I lost some friends of mine, mm. close friends. And uh, because of drugs, drugs abuse, and and you know, but I was like a total, like a little virgin. You no, know? I was totally flying, or flying over all this, all this, uh, mm. and not and, and not feeling connected to that at, at all. No, and mm. and I mean, I didn't do it on purpose because of of that, but maybe also some consci consciously, I was feeling protected by the music. I, 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 and the thing is that I had a purpose. You know? And this is what what I, what I was talking about. No? When you have a purpose, for example, you probably will take a bit more uh, better care of yourself no? exactly. if you have a purpose. No, because you you want to be healthy, you want to get older. There is nothing more beautiful than getting old. No, I mean mm. now that I, I I I'm getting older, every day we get older. Yes. <laughs> but but uh, it's uh, I enjoy so much. You no, know, this this uh, part of my life when when you are still. I mean, young to you have still energy to travel to learn new things, mm. but al already you have some past. You know? Some, some you learn a few things you know, about about how this yeah. crazy world works, right? And uh, and uh, and at the time, I really feel felt that now I, I feel it that that uh, it was a I don't know if it if it was like protection, but but at, at least it, it was a purpose. You no, know? I had something important. Mm. Yeah. To do in my life, important and meaningful, meaningful, mm. and deep, and uh, you know, and, and the joy that uh, music used to give me at the time, really, very little things in in my life could could give me this 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 joy, you know, this uh, enjoyment of, of being alive. Really. Mm. A friend, uh, when does an artist feel being ready? And maybe feel, sorry? when will an artist or a musician feel? Uh, reaching a readiness stage or maybe can oh. stand on own feet yeah. from your experience yeah I, I, in, in my in my in my case or my feelings is that mm. it's something that you see once I mean looking back to the past I mean the, the mm. present time is, is a very 
hard hard no to to, to define when, when you are living it no yes uh, mm, you know I, I had a, a lot of crisis in my life in the in this uh, sense of you know because there, there are many things together I mean I mean I'm a, I'm a foreigner playing a foreign music yeah. uh, and and also playing many instruments also playing living, living like many personalities no Mm -hmm. through, through through those those so I, I i i thought many times that maybe it's better you know to to forget about everything and and start to one instrument and and trying to be good at that instrument and forget all the others but it's not my nature and i, I mean mm -hmm. i i thought many times to do that but really i i see myself mostly you know as a producer or you know composer that okay use all the, those instruments and actually the reason why i play so many I think it's because at the time, you know, I was the only player of all these instruments in, in, in my area, for sure, and maybe yeah. in the country. Some of them, the Rubab, for example, the Afghan Rubab, I was the, the first guy playing this instrument mm. in Spain, no? Uh, or the, no, there, would, there were a few players already, but, you know, we, we were not connected. So mm. I was very, very alone. So I, if I wanted to, to use those songs in, in my music, I, I had to... To know to reach some skill, some some level of of, of skill, mm. no? on, on the, mm. uh, yeah. So, I mean, that that some something some things some events happen that that make you feel okay. I, I at least I think that I'm, I'm I took the the right path. It's not that you never will reach. I mean, I, I mean, I, I have heard this from even from my teachers, you no, know, from people mm. that is like miles of my miles away from me no mm. and i think this is this is a very useful feeling actually i mean if we if we if we are able to use this feeling of no of uh, of uh, being unable to to reach the perfection mm. in a good way i think it can be a uh, it can push us no to 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 get better and better as a, as a uh -huh. musician the, 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 is, it, is it dangerous because you know it can bring you down no? and, and feel and feel make you feel that you are not worthy you are not good enough and so i, I had this kind of periods many many times in my life mm. and this is something that is all already is always there is somewhere in in the you know is this noise no that you hear all the time that you are not good enough mm. but and and i think it, it happens mostly when you compare yourself with with others. No? That's why also, mm. I think competition is not a good uh, guide, no, for a musician. And mm. and and actually, I think it's the opposite. What, what why we have to, or I, I or I, I'm talk, I can talk all, all about myself. But I, what I like to I try to to reach is the unicity. I mean, mm. I don't want to compete with anybody. I want just to find what what i love no what what i like and what i'm able to to give no to to, mm. to as a musician mm. and yeah interesting really interesting uh you mentioned uh that you are taking music as a serious thing mm. let's just have some comments about uh, having music as a serious thing yeah mm. yeah uh Serious, serious sounds too serious sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> but but I think you 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 will understand me. Uh, mm. What what I feel is that, uh, especially nowadays, maybe it was always like this, but you know, mm. I, 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 I I was born. I mean, mm. I, I'm living this, these days, and sometimes we feel maybe it's, maybe it's also a matter of the English language. But you know, mm. I, I I hear this word all the time. It is mm. funny. Let's mm. do things to be funny, no? Mm. And I, really, I, I don't, I don't see the connection mm. of uh, f funny things with uh, good things. I mean, mm. something that can be funny and, and can be useless, no? Yeah. I mean, uh, 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 and for me, mu music is not a matter of fun. Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't need to be fun. I mean, for fun, I, I can make jokes. I actually, I really like jokes. You know, in, mm. in, here in, in where I live. We are really into this, no? And the, the way we, we communicate is very funny. We, we really like. I think mm. Arabs also you have yeah, it also yeah. in there. So it's, mm. it's a part of the culture, no? But in music, mm. 
for me, it's a, it's a really serious matter, no? And and that's why always the the the, the although I make fun all the time, you know, when we practice with all, with my colleagues and we we, we are on tour or, or even on the stage, I can make some fa- some jokes. Mm. But uh, the moment you know you, you you take your instrument, for me, this instru- introspection mm. moment is is very very important. And you know, music comes always from from at least for me comes always from the silence from you know to be to be with yourself and mm. focus on yourself yeah uh, yeah and and it's, it's a it's a very very deep thing no I, I don't want to to get distracted by with other things and and for me music is is good enough by itself it doesn't need to be funny no I, I, or, yeah. or easy or you know these these courses that they sell all the time learn this music in in two weeks or you know yeah. i mean i don't i don't need fast things in my life and i don't need funny things in my life i'm funny enough if i if i want to <laughs> and I, I i don't i don't need funny <laughs> some sometimes funny music mm. so I, I don't know why i i, I really can't explain that but f- funny music for me sounds a uh, weak or 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 you know or empty sometimes you know I, I got you. I mean, yeah. for, 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 to to have fun, I, I prefer other activities rather than music. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> do you do you perceive uh, music as a religion? Yeah, in in the sense I was referring to about before. I mean, as as something that connects you with your essence, with with what you are, mm-hmm. with your origins. For me, abs- music is is absolutely my my religion. No, in yeah. in, in, in this sense. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and the music as a normality or uh, being superficial. Ah, yeah, we, we were talking about that. No? Mm. Yeah, this is also that something that uh, I don't I don't know how you see, can see that you know from from the Arab world, mm. but here in Europe, you know, when you play, I don't know Turkish music or whatever. Relate, my camp related music mm. or modal music in general, even medieval music, or uh, a lot of people take for granted certain things of mm-hmm. how you are or, or why you play music. No? Mm. And this is also uh, something that, that I mean, we, we, uh, uh, for, uh, as musicians, mm. are part of the problem. Because the way, because of the way we sell our music, sometimes, no, yeah. the way the way we present it mm. as something not uh, exotic and and very strange, no, for mm. example, no, yeah. uh, I, I I I never felt connected with this uh, um, uh, word, no, a rare yeah. or or strange, no. For me, this is not strange music. This mm. is this is the music I listen every day. Mm. Uh, I play every day. I devote my life to, and uh, uh, so I, I don't accept that anybody present my music as something strange or exotic. It, this is the opposite, uh, uh, the opposite of what I want to, to express with my music. No, because exotic, as, as exotic as I said before, is means external. Mm. So, uh, so if you present to somebody, you mm. know, my music is external. Who mm. can this this person really connect deeply with it, with that music? No, mm. so this person you 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 are telling to that person to to listen to see that music as something that it doesn't belong to him or, or her, you mm. know. And music is something to be shared. It's, it's not my music or your music is over over thing, you know. It has and, been lived. Uh, it has been it, it has been lived at a personal level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and this is this is the the, the problem of also of stereotypes. You know, stereotypes are killing any sort of uh, communication. When you have stereotypes about the about the person you, are, you have in front, mm. you know, because he's from other uh, countries, uh, from other re- religion or uh, race or whatever, or other, you know, mm. you you are you are creating a, a barrier that doesn't exist in reality. You know? mm. And and for music especially in this style of music i think we, we have we are part of the of the we have a part of the responsibility on that this the the, the way we present it so for when i when i got conscious conscious about that i start to 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 to, 
to really take care mm. of how my music is presented by others. Mm. You know, because I never presented as something ex exotic, but how the others, mm. uh, you know, in, my, in, in behalf of my like you know record companies or festivals or mm. things like that. So I I, I had many f f fights with you know with with managers or festivals because of that. You no, know, because I wanted to present my music like like normal music. It's, yeah. it's normal music. It's, it's a, so I, I don't I don't want you to listen to this music as a, something foreign. Yeah, or seeing it from the outside because the way you describe learning it and living it, or maybe the way it is presented by labyrinth, or maybe those that love it and express their feeling and emotions with as a religion, as yeah, yeah. Paid, yeah, of course, yeah. it's their normality, so it's not yeah. looking at it as something from the outside, right? They just yeah. live and play, and maybe talk and come back and play, and their workshops are just. Uh, normal uh, settings uh, that can go for hours and hours and they take it to the core exactly. we can't go to the core of it yeah yeah right yes. if, you, if you if you believe really that this, this music is strange or you you won't you will never get to the the, the core no? you, mm. you 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 are you're putting a barrier to yourself mm. yeah. interesting uh, yeah. uh, a friend uh how, how about boredom the feeling of boredom with all of these activities and uh, uh, projects as you, yeah as you as you can imagine it's something that uh, you know is not in my vocabulary this <laughs> doesn't simply doesn't exist really i don't mm. I, I don't i can't recall the last time i, I was bored maybe you know when when things don't, doesn't uh, depend on you you know mm. you can get stuck I don't know, in an airport you know for Mm. for eight hours I don't know but even in this this case I, will, I always will have a book with me you know or, or something that can mm. that can accompany me you know? so, so but but so it's something here, to enjoy yeah but here mm. my, my problem is the opposite at home you know sometimes I have to struggle it's like a little kid you no know? when when they are playing they don't want to go to sleep you no know? and for me it's the same sometimes I'm, I'm so tired but I I want to practice more or to listen more music or to you know to transcribe one song or, or things like that and and it's hard for me to, to go to sleep yeah. so I, I i don't i don't really know what it what this feeling is of being bored right? yeah there are too many things that are so great yeah, yeah. that you don't have uh, a yeah. lifetime for them of course you know <laughs> this, this, is, this is this can be also a bit uh, creates sometimes a bit of anxiety in me no because mm. i mean if you take the the wood no how many lives you need to play everything that can be played with an, an oud, no? And, and we're talking only about one instrument. Yeah. Of, the, of, of all the instruments I play, imagine with all the family, also the also the um, to learn this all these beautiful songs, no? That that are mm. already created to to create your music also because I'm also a composer, so it's a it, it can be overwhelming sometimes. So I, I it's, it's better to go step by step, day, day by day. You know, mm. I'm quite I'm quite organized also with the with my, with the work. So I mm. I put always an order, you know, to, to to do things. So I I, I, I can I don't yeah. fall fall in this anxiety, you know, of, of having so many things to do, and you, yeah. and you never know what, what to, because I, I I'm so happy that now that everything I do in music uh, nowadays is so beautiful for me. So I. For me, it's not uh, it's not important if I do that or that because everything is so beautiful. All the projects mm. I'm involved involved in are mm. so so beautiful that uh, I'm very happy working. You know, every day. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> the... And uh, actually, uh, we have to be very wise and aggressive then to choose uh, what to do because there are too many things and we have to pick the great stuff, right? <laughs> this is also a, 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 a mm. very good. A mm. very important skill that mm. I wasn't that good always, mm. uh, you know, and choosing you because you know every also every door opens another door. You know? I mean every every uh, every choice opens also a, 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 a multiple mm. other choices. You no, know? so we yeah. we have to be careful. But I, I really believe in this instinct. You no, know? we all ha all have. And when you develop it, it's like a kind of as a, as a muscle. Also, you know? when when so, you and, and my life is really about instinct, you know? as 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 
as mm. I, as you could say. I mean, uh, mm. so uh, of course I, I did some stupid things, stupid choices in my life, you no, know, and thinking uh, playing with bands that I I wouldn't I, I was not feeling so connected with. Mm. But okay, you learn also with the, with the time you know, what what it was deserves yeah. otherwise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what deserves uh, yeah. the time or, or, no, or... interesting. Uh, the word virtuoso. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. This is also a nice point mm. because uh, mm. in our previous conversation mm. we were talking about um, mm. this. Uh, how dangerous can 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 be also this no mm. uh, i will tell you this sh short story about you know, this band i, I used to have uh, lambda fort was quite famous in in mm. not only in spain but in europe we were touring all over europe mm. many times and you know covers in the magazines and things like that so there was this uh, 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 this rumor or how, however you want to call it that you know, they, they start to call me virtuoso in the in mm. the the interviews, mm. you know, and you know, and this was twenty years ago. Mm. I mean, I I told you I, I didn't even know the word macam, not mm. not not that, uh, mm. and, but it, it, uh, that 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 was also because of the ignorance of the of the journalists mm. themselves. Mm. But okay, I was also an ignorant, but not a dunt extent no i mean i i knew where, where i am no i i knew where, where i was mm. and I, I i used to got really upset about that those, those you know those uh, comments no because i i was very aware that i'm not a, a virtuoso at all no? I, I i knew how those instruments are played in the in the in the in the natural environment no in turkey in, in the arab world in iran in afghanistan mm. uh, so uh but but i use again this this uh, i mean this uh, this thing as a trigger mm. to to okay to let's say okay let's let's work on that mm. uh, this ca this can be like this forever i mean i, I mean I, I, I was telling before about you know this this revelation about you know not not wanting to be a rock star mm. so i didn't want also to be a world music star mm. i mean I I, I I I could feel the danger of of you know staying there you know in this throne of you know being be, being being called a virtuoso by journalists that again with all my respect didn't have any clue about this music yeah they didn't they didn't have a bad intention but you know they they saw this guy playing weird instruments and they they thought that he's a virtuoso. Okay. Mm. So uh, when this uh, band was disbanded, uh, Land of Folk, it was in 2007, I had two options. I, I, mm. I, I found myself in this, uh, no, two, two, two roads. Uh, mm. uh, intersection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, 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 one, the A, A path would be to stay in Spain and, and to take advantage you know, of this status of, you mm. know, of of being, being considered a virtuoso and master, and, a master and, and stupid things like that. No? Mm. And I was sure that, that this was not the right decision. So the other decision was to, to do the, the total opposite, to actually go to another level of uh, commitment with this, with this uh, styles of music, you know? and really went go to, you know, to those places. For me, I mean, the, the places that I already knew quite a bit, Mm. Was uh, where uh, Greece and Turkey, you know, I mean, pe mm. places where I already I, I knew already people and and you know a, a bit of the music that is, pl is played on th those places. So mm -hmm. okay, let's. I thought okay, let's go there and start again from zero. I mean, mm. to play, to use this music in the in its context. I mean, to, to play it uh, in you know in in real situations and in front of people that really knows this music mm. right which is the the tri trial by trial by fire no as a, as a, mm. i mean it's, it's i mean you can't cheat them we yeah to, to, you can cheat a turkish audience no uh, educated turkish audience about you know balama mm. playing or, or whatever no? so I, I did i did that for a few years 
and uh, it was really it was really hard i mean uh, even economically you know i, I started from from zero in a, in, a, in, a, in in both countries in greece and in turkey uh, but it, I, I i was feeling really good i, I was feeling that this is a, the right thing to do and also being being uh, seeing the, the things with perspective from from abroad i mean things in spain i, I mean mm. i was really happy of of knowing part of this you know I, I don't want to to use this word, but lie. No, I mean mm. it, it, it was not true that I'm a virtuoso. I, I I didn't even wanted to be a virtuoso. What is this? I mean, mm. a virtuoso, you know, is Yudal Tochano. I mean, they're really big masters of of, of mm. each instrument. No, and and I, I can't compare myself even with his shoes. No, I mean, <laughs> of, of his masters. And, and so I I I wanted again to okay. I had already some knowledge of. No technical knowledge and and mm. even theoretical knowledge, but okay, let's let's go to play with whatever wants to 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 bring me to his or her band. No? Mm. And I did it for for a few years also, mm. until I came I came back to to Spain and 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 now, you know, since then I'm I'm living here again. And but of course traveling all the time to especially again to to Greece and 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 Turkey. So I started also projects with with people from those countries especially mm. in, in in greece with uh, stelius petrakis mm. which is i consider really like part of my family mm. and and you know i, I start to work with with ross also ross mm. invited me for some of his concerts we we play mm. a few times together and mm. so uh you know i, I was re also really happy to to play in a, in bands where i i can use the all this knowledge you know that, that mm. you know i mean, I mean again the 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 max the top mm. the the um, uh how to say what i could ex expect expect if i will stay in spain mm. and you know uh, living this virtuoso fake virtuoso life is to mm. play you know with some songwriters that they want to uh, color in their music mediterranean colors I, I you know i did this so so for so many for so long in mm. spain I, I i don't want to do it anymore no i mean you mm. know pop, pop bands or songwriters that they want you know to to use a little wood for you know 20 seconds for to give this arabic uh, mm. desert with uh, fun. Mm. i mean all all stereotypes all stereotypes no I so you. i was i i was i was uh, feeling that um, that uh, if I stay there, I, I will do this for the rest of my life. Mm. You know? So I, I, I prefer to to, yeah, to do what I'm doing now, actually, you know, which is you know, play this, this music with people that knows it, for mm. people that knows it, and, you know, and, and, and challenge also myself you know, to, to become better, to, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Uh, Efren, uh, let's talk a little bit about composition seen mm -hmm. as a goal from the beginning yeah uh, I, I i was saying that uh, composition for me from the from the very beginning of my activity as a musician even you know before starting with all these you know mm. traditional styles and and all these kind of things mm. uh, it was also a, a need I, I really needed to 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 write my, my my music maybe to express things that can you know express with words or i don't know mm. uh, and uh, so from from and uh, again you no know, because of my ignorance <laughs> when i when i got to to, to st start playing all these instruments balama wood etc i i start to to, to create my, my my music no and mm. in, in the beginning uh, in a very spontaneous way or intuitive way, no? I mean, just by listening, imitating scales, mm. phrases, no, and styles, no. Mm. And and then, as as I start to to get into these styles of of, uh, of music, you know, my problem sometimes is, is that I, I I I listen to many different styles of music, but all of them are. Uh, included in, in what we call call you know modern music but mm. also i play I, I play different instruments so for
for me, composition, I, I, I compose in, in, in different ways. Mm. Uh, one is uh, the, the, the most of the times I compose straight on the on the instrument. You know, yeah. when when I feel that I'm specially inspired or something. You no, know, sometimes sometimes after a, a series of concerts, you are you are playing for, you no, know, for quite a lot, and and you feel really in shape. And you know, some some nice ideas are coming. Yeah. So I, I you, many times I just record myself. Also, I'm so, also a sound engineer, so I mm-hmm. my my microphones are always ready to record. Yeah. You know, when I'm yeah. at home. So I, I, I might record myself for, you know, maybe one hour or sometimes it's only 20 minutes, but sometimes it's one hour, 20 minutes improvising, you know, mm. going around one idea. And sometimes it's the same idea, you know, for one hour, trying to find something interesting, something, something that says something uh, mm. uh, new or, or, you know, mm-hmm. and, and this is the, the way I, I compose the, the most of the times, I, I would say. And many times, what I what I do is, I don't even try to to make a a, a composition on the spot. I mean, I I I I feel that it has something, it has something attractive in the in the in the playing. But I leave it there mm-hmm. for sometimes one month, sometimes two years. I mean, sometimes the the, the span of time is quite quite long, actually. Mm-hmm. And and maybe one day if I feel like I I, w- I might give it a, a listen, you no, know? and and maybe from there you know do like this kind kind of uh, copy paste <laughs> uh, yeah. tricks until until I I, I I kind of clean what what I don't like you no know, from the from the improvisation. Uh-huh. And so so it's like a, you know it's like a, going to a mine and 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 you know and and find a, yeah. a diamond you no. Know? Uh, and and many of my compositions were created like that, like, like you know, like just improvising, and 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 uh, going around one one specific idea, one very very specific one, mm-hmm. until until to, you get something that really is you feel is meaningful, and then you can de- develop it more and you know, uh, uh, you know create other parts. But many times the first the core idea of the song comes like, like this. Other times, I, I'm, I, you know, I, I, I have uh, write songs, uh, I have written songs even in, the, the, in a train, going, going somewhere with a train, and mm. I write on, on, direct on the, on, the, on the paper, on, on the mm. score. Yeah. This is also nice because, because uh, one of the advantages of, uh, of, of writing straight on the, on the, sc- on the score mm. is that that you can create phrases that are not natural mm. in your playing. For yeah. example, you know, all of us, you know, you have your your tricks, your phrases that you play again and again, and you get bored of, of them after after years of, of playing same, uh, always the, the same phrasings. But when you write straight on the, you know, notes, yeah, uh, yeah. and it's, it's very interesting, then you have to learn actually what you wrote. Actually, the first song we, we listen, before mm. uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. yeah this 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 one was written like this was written uh, straight on the score and it, and it was really hard to for me to mm. to learn it but then... yeah interesting uh we mentioned the word projects three times in our interview. <laughs> uh what's great about projects and uh, let's have some examples uh, of my yeah. Of my yeah i mean business. just quickly you know i i know we we stayed for long i'm really enjoying but we can for sure have uh, other episodes later on on the hurdy-gurdy or many other things that you really mentioned okay. i kept quiet really not to, <laughs> okay, okay. to yeah yeah um, um... Uh, sorry the, the question you were was... saying okay. yeah you were saying oh, yeah, the projects yeah projects, projects yeah. yes yeah, uh, yeah. Um, in the past, I used to have, you know, a very strong project or maybe a side project, and that that it was. Mm-hmm. But what I really enjoy nowadays, and from you know, ten or fifteen years mm-hmm. old, uh, is actually to to play with a with a lot of different projects. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Just an example. Next week, I will play 
five con concerts with four different projects. So it's, and it, each one of them is a quite different. All of them are lovely and re I really enjoy being part of them, but they, they are very different. And they, it, it gives me something that I really appreciate also in, in other musicians, which is flexibility, you know, to be able to adapt yourself, not only as a musician, but even as, as a human being, you know? mm. uh, 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 and and I really like this this part of uh, of uh, of uh, yeah making music no is which is to to learn how to be with other people no with 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 with, with, with other musicians yeah. it means that that uh, you know uh, one very 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 nice example mm. and quite extreme yeah is that you know I was playing with a uh, with a German project, mm. uh, you know they they are they are quite oh, ah, yeah they are a, a modern band you know with a lot of uh, pop uh, pop elements and this but also influenced by you know medieval music and things like that things like that they are called Faun they are from Germany and right after that mm. <laughs> or no sorry before the, right before that. I had a tour with my my Ustad, my my teacher of uh, Rabab, of African music, Daoud Khan mm. Uh-huh. You know, imagine being in a tour with uh, Afghan musicians, you know, playing playing quite traditional, I mean, not totally traditional Afghan songs, mm. and then with, being with a German band, you know, doing a tour, ex extensive tour in in all the Germany, you know, twenty six concerts in what's mm. concerts in in one month. Uh -huh. And so, how how different worlds they are, no? Or mm. so you 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 need to be able to adapt yourself to the, these different ways to to see life, even no, in music. Mm. You know, for example, the German band, everything was you know really under control. Every it was a big team of thirty five people with mm. with stage and you know very amazing sound, and you know, and uh, everything was really organized. I mean, even mm. musically. There was yes. some place for improvisation, but you know everything was really uh, in order, organized. Yeah, 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 in order. And and with the, the Afghans was the opposite. But this is not the nature of, of music. You no, know? yeah. I, I didn't mention enough uh, my my Ustad Daoud Khan mm. I, I I'm I'm studying with him for many years, mm. and uh, and uh, you know from him I, I learned so many things also. I, I I changed totally as a musician after playing with him, mm. because you know, he, in the beginning in the beginning I didn't understand so so well why he does what he does and 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 how is uh, this music actually how, mm. how this music should be played. But mm -hmm. but you know, and at the beginning I, in the beginning I was so nervous in the, in the our concerts because I was feeling that there is a lot of. Uh, things that are not under control mm -hmm. you know, in the concerts i mean i i, I uh, the structure of this of the songs for example you know if you play uh, uh, ottoman music you know you have a score you have a, a sasemai or a pace yeah. it's a perfect order no i mean you, you know what is com what is coming next no yes but but with him i learned this the beauty of also of the of the spontaneous of the spontaneous playing you know Mm. Because in 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 this music the structures are not that fixed, mm. and it, and even the repertoire itself, you know, and, and and a few times it happened to me, you know, that my start when he he was feeling like like excited, you no, know, because the, the the concert was going well, mm. he would start to play a song that mm. I never heard before in my life, mm. but somehow you you know he he was. He was holding me somehow, mm. no? so I could lay on, on him and and follow him playing, no? and mm. and after after a while I could more more or less play actually the, the, the actual piece with him no? uh -huh. because you, because you know you know already the the, the system and the and the and the, the language the vocabulary no? of of the music so it's it's easy to learn when you know the language the, the a new word is not that hard to, to, to learn no? because you yeah. know already words with similar root or, or whatever so exactly so with every project i you learn a different thing 
you know, you, and actually I always try to be the worst musician of my projects. Mm. So, so I'm the, the one that learns the, the most, no? wow. because, mm. uh, 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 so I, I always try to, to find musicians that are more experienced than me to, mm. it's not always possible, you no, know, because, uh, uh, I mean, I, I have so many projects r right now and, and so many different styles of music. And but uh, I really enjoy when I'm the I feel I'm the the less experienced musician no, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a band. Yeah, I think there is a very good uh, concert with your Ustad, Afghani Ustad, on yeah, YouTube, yeah. and we will listen to it uh, actually while we post this uh, interview. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's very interesting, and I see you really play very well in that. You were really, uh, uh, I mean, very well connected with the Ustad. No, no, but he, yeah, I, I learned so much from this man. Mm. Really, I, I I really love him, and actually he came here many times. The mm. the thing with the Rabab is also a big story. Maybe it's is 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 too much for today. But but you know, I because I I used to invite him also uh, many times to Spain to teach, mm. and actually we 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 have small community you know, of of players here in Spain mm. of uh, Afghan music players, mm. and uh, and also. For me, what was unbelievable was how generous he, he was mm. uh, always as a teacher in the, in the sense of, you know, he will bring me to the, to, cons to play with him in concerts mm. from the very beginning. You know, I, I was a total ignorant, mm. but he he really trusts me or, or believe in, in my abilities or something. Mm. And uh, and he will give me a lot of space in the concerts even, no? mm. you know. And and I was playing you know, improvisations also like, like like him. I mean, not of course not in his level, but I mean, in the, in, in, the, in 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 terms of time, he was he will give me a lot of time in, in the concerts and and you know this this uh, this feeling of of not not knowing to know what is gonna happen next makes music so alive. Is yeah. there is there is nothing that be, can be compared to to that no? because it's mm. the the you need to this connection that you were talking about. You need that. Otherwise, I mean, it's better you, you change a job. I mean, you, exactly. you become, you know, because uh, you, you need to be there 200 percent. And this, mm. this is I really miss him because we don't play together for 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 some years now. Mm. But really, it's, uh, I have so many, so many moments that we I will never forget you know, from from our concerts together. I remember in that uh, uh, tour in Germany, something really important that I learned from him also, mm -hmm. you know, we will play many concerts in a row, like, I think 16 concerts, mm -hmm. no, like all, nearly every day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because uh, the, the music was so open, mm -hmm. it's, it, you take a lot of risk, yes, right? Because, yes. because, you know, uh, but this risk, of course, some, some concerts were some of the, the best in my life. You know, because there was really the magic was there and and the you know the communication and some others were the worst you no know, because you know the the tuning was not right because you know the robots are very sensitive or you know the mood was not there or the sound or mm. and but always after the concert the reaction of my stud was the same he was very cool very calm you know, and you know, so uh, so when I was very excited, oh, start today the concert was great. Wow, I was not really excited. Mm. He was, yeah, yeah, it was really nice, no, very, very <laughs> cool, very calm. <laughs> and then, and then maybe the next day was the opposite. It was a in, in my in my video or my, my feeling was that we played very bad or or I played very bad and the improvisations was not, was not inspired and it was start you. Know, uh, today, if, tomorrow we, we should work better. I mean, harder because the concert wasn't great, and he was exactly the same as the previous day. You know, very cool. Ah, oh, no, don't don't worry. It was fine. It was. I mean, this this uh, this uh, calm, no spirit and acceptance, no of of no. If if you take the risk, you have to accept that that it's yeah, not going to yeah, work yeah, yeah. At, 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 always, no. And but really, is for me, it's really magic, and unfortunately. Many of the audiences here are not ready for that in the festivals in 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 Spain or in Europe in general. I mean, they need something that is very clear. It's it's gonna work always, uh, even if you 
you have to sacrifice a, a bit of this magic, no, of the of, yeah. of risk. And I really miss that. I really miss that. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. And uh, just a quick question: When was the first encounter of the Afghan music in your timeline? <laughs> uh, 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 this is yeah. a, I don't know if it's too long story, but I, I can tell you. A, yeah. a, I, I think yeah. for me it's really important. So it's, I think yeah. it's worth to, to talk yeah. about it. Mm. because you know uh, I I knew I knew, knew the instrument from before. I mean mm. I I had a recording. I had a recording of of uh, uh, of I, I won't say the name, <laughs> but it, it was a, a, a wonderful music that I I didn't know for. Where it come from? No, I, mm. I mean, I didn't know if you know it's, it's Arabic or Greek or Turkish or from Mongolia. I had no idea, mm. but it was a magical, magical. So, uh, and once uh, in a concert in Spain, because I'm also a sound engineer. Yeah, I was I was hired as a sound engineer to to do the sound in the concert. Mm. And and you know I I was busy you know with the buttons and the the cable something was going wrong, mm. and suddenly I I hear this sound you know the sound that I had in this tape it was a, a record a cassette, mm. and it was the Afghan mm. and it, it was it was a Daoud Khan that uh, he came to to Valencia to my hometown to to. To, pr- to play, to perform, mm. and I, wo- I was no really. This is the instrument I, 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 I fell in love with, no. And and uh, actually, it was also very, very beautiful, no, as, as a piece of mm. art. Yeah. And yeah. and so I told to him, the the, the recording, by the way, was uh, uh, from uh, Ustad Mohammed Rahim Khujnawash. Mm-hmm. He was the, one of the biggest masters of of this instrument. Mm. And, uh, and and I and I know that actually that record that, that album was the the the, the spark you know, that, that triggered a lot of people to mm. uh, in, the, in the West to, to play to play the the, Af- the African rule. Yes. But but imagine this was uh, I think two two thousand and one no two thousand and two I think. Mm. And you know at the time internet was not that active or you know mm. the, the, there was no no uh, information at all uh, mm. in, about the rubber in the, in the net on the net mm. so I, I spent a lot of money and time you know calling to, to to the Afghan community in California for example that I I heard that there are a lot of Afghans there but imagine no myself trying to find a, a rubab in 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 California was impossible Mm. But after some research, I found one uh, mm. in, in Germany. You know, some some somebody had one. Actually, uh, at the time, it was uh, really hard to get them also because of the Taliban regime in in, uh, in yeah. uh, Afghanistan. So they used to break the instruments, or you know, so yeah. most of the of them were either destroyed or, or hidden or things like that. So it was really hard. Yeah, and and. And uh, so I, I, I found this first instrument that was not so good again. <laughs> always the, the first instrument is, you know, is the, the, the that's the always the start, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. but okay, at, at least you know, I can I, 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 I could take start to take some lessons with with Daoud mm. in the in a, in a, in, a, in, a ver, in a first stage, they were more you know distant, we, did, we didn't know each other so well, but at some point, I I Actually, this is also fine, uh, funny because uh, once while I was uh, one in one of my stays in, in Istanbul, you know, mm. uh, suddenly in, in a, the big bazaar in Kapolicha in, in, in Istanbul, mm-hmm. I was walking in one of the streets on one of the you know little little streets in the, inside of the bazaar, yeah, and I find, and I find like you know ten robots hanging on a, on a, on a, on a <laughs> shop. and I couldn't believe it. What? Mm. Really, a lot, a lot of them, like, mm. incredible, and and so I took three of them at, at the time. One, two, <laughs> two for me and one for my, for for a friend in Spain. Uh-huh. And and also, I, uh, you know, I I got to 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 know this this family. Actually, they were Afghans living mm. in, in in Turkey. Uh-huh. Two 
Turkmen, Turkmen Afghans. En ja, en en after after some time uh, I start to to yeah to take lessons more often with uh, Daoud Khan. Mm. Sometimes traveling to Germany where he lives and and after a while uh, we were talking before about my, the group of students I used to have in in in, in Valencia. Yeah. They also felt felt in love with the ruba and they asked me to bring to to find instruments for them. Mm. So so with the help of this Afghan family that I met in Istanbul, mm -hmm. we start to bring Afghans Afghan rubabs to Spain. We bought we brought like maybe fifteen or something like that. Wow. Mm -hmm. So so I, I, I really we start to I mean this community of Afghan players in Valencia start to grow. And also after afterwards in in other parts of Spain, so mm -hmm. I start to 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 invite my my staff mm -hmm. also to to teach here for us, mm -hmm. no? to, to to give to give uh, workshops, and it was a really I, I I have very beautiful very sweet memories of that that time. No, actually in this in this this uh, uh, in this uh, place, this place this exact place. We, yeah. we used to gather to sometimes, you know, 15 students. Imagine 15 rubber players in Valencia, no? It was, wow. was crazy. Yeah. I, 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 my, my staff was so happy, no? So to, to see the interest in, in a foreign country about, about his culture. Mm. Uh, and yeah, and, and we played many concerts together with, with the Wuhan Sauzai and Tabla, tabla players. Mm. And really, I, I learned, learned a lot, a lot about not only about the music, but also about you know, mm. not I mean not only about Afghan music, but also about other 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 approach to, to play music, you know, with all this risk and the, this freedom and this you know, so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah. Interesting, uh, a friend. We really enjoyed this time. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of our viewers and listeners are enjoying all of these experiences here. Let's conclude with two quick questions here. Uh, what are you currently working on? Uh, now there are many also projects <laughs> going, on, going on. Yeah. But but just to name to name a few. Mm. I mean the, the the next concerts I'm I'm playing with. Uh, I mean I have my my own projects. What what I mean when I say my own projects is projects in which I I. I I'm kind of that director or co-director with some someone else. Yeah. Uh, uh, for example, this this the next concerts are with uh, with uh, Tariq. Tariq is an Arabic word actually. Tariq. Yeah. Uh, Tariq. Tariq. Uh, Tariq. Uh, it's, it's a yeah. Is 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 a um, is a actually is a, he's a name player. He's from mm. Valencia. Uh -huh. He was living, he was uh, traveling to Cairo. To study and, and also in Turkey to study the name, mm. and he's a he's a, a composer also. He and he 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 did this record about, about this his travel, no, to to Cairo and and in Istanbul, mm. uh, with, you know, around the name, no. And and I'm playing with him. Then I play also with Eleonore Fournier. She's a also, also a very interesting mm. character. She's a she's a she's a French singer mm. and hardy girl player. So she plays. Uh -huh. sax. And 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 she, for some, also for some, you know, crazy uh, paths, you know, whole 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 live, whole life, no, mm. uh, comes comes. Uh, she 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 got specialized in Kurdish music and, and Turkish music, mm. and we are playing for a few years together uh, now, and mm. we will play in, in my hometown in Valencia. Mm. Then yeah, and, and also I, I play with uh, Jolie Saval, this. Uh, medieval music master I, mean, yeah. I have a few 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 concerts these 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 days and and about my own projects and and i, I never stopped to 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 write music i mean there are some projects that are already built and and you know yeah. are, are already working mm. but uh, i'm i'm working I'm, I'm, I'm writing music i don't know what i will do with it i maybe i will do a second solo album Mm. Or, or you know, maybe I will gather some musicians and try to to to, to do it together. Mm. I released recently an album with Christos Barbas. It's an A player from mm. from Greece that lives here in Spain, mm. and we record. We did a recording together. It's called Atlas. Mm. 
mm. which is a, a very simple recording. Usually, I, I really like the also the arranger ar arrangements uh, side, no, that mm. of you know orchestration and this kind of stuff. But uh, for this record, uh, we decided to do the opposite. We uh, we went to the studio to play live just two instruments, nay, and my, my instruments I play little bit of oud, a little bit of uh, fretless guitar, mm -hmm. uh, several several lutes, and mm. yeah, and also I, we we are working right now on a project which uh, will include uh, with three other musicians, Spanish, mm. will include only traditional music from Spain. I never did this in my life. I mean, I never did a project that is only about traditional music, mm. and it's it's a kind of uh, unique because you know in spain as in every country in the world mm. every every corner has a you know a different language a different tradition and different instruments different rhythms different everything no? yeah and and usually you know you play only the music from your area but we are trying to to do this project with the several kinds of music from from several regions of, of spain I hope it won't be like a salad, you know, like yeah. where you. Uh, so, yeah. and, and, and but this the, the process itself of creating mm. this project is, is really interesting because I'm learning a lot about you know I'm listening a lot of uh, traditional I mean field recordings from you know the 50s the 60s to mm. to, to to get inspira inspiration. We are selecting all, all these uh, songs not to be Stop. recorded. Too many things in the agenda, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's a great thing. Uh, you can't find yeah, yeah. boredom in the middle. <laughs> exactly. So there's no place for that. It's not in my agenda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. Uh, and uh, I, I know you are teaching uh, music in Liberance and maybe other places, but uh, uh, in general, how can you be reached? What is the best way to communicate with you or maybe reach? Uh, uh, the, the, my activity as a teacher is mostly connected to labyrinth mm. uh, you know mm. and, and now online a lot we are teaching a lot online yeah uh, so I, I, I'm I, uh, actually in labyrinth I mean in the for the online workshops I'm I'm teaching only uh, sound engineering actually I mean mm. is something that is really important for me for my music also yeah so I, I, I give these workshops on on sound production production but uh, focus on on these instruments, no? and, the, and these types of music, and this yeah. is something that really lacks in the in general, no? Because we have, of course, amazing sound engineers, mm -hmm. but you know, the most of the tutorials you will find on YouTube or books are related to you know rock music or pop music or electronic music, mm -hmm. but uh, you will ha hardly find you know a book that talks about. How to record an oud or a hardy gardi or a balama so mm. this is what i got is specialized in mm. and uh, and uh, this is what i'm teaching and also i gave a, recently a, actually a, a hardy gardi workshop yes as, as well and and also i give a uh, private lessons online and if if uh, if, uh, if it's possible i mean we will start to teach also uh, in, in the real life, very very yeah, soon, sure. very soon. We, we we are all already actually in the, for the next summer. Mm -hmm. uh, we will, I mean, uh, labyrinth in Crete. We will open. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there, there will be a few. I mean, not not a lot, just a few uh, seminars going on. We will play actually there also with uh, Elena mm -hmm. Fugneo and Silvan Mabu. It's great and, that uh, we have this back. Really, yeah, 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 yeah. So we we hope slowly slowly to to go back to mm. to normality we have also the labyrinth catalonia experience mm. here in the in the north east of, yeah. of spain i'm also involved in this uh, the organization of this festival and and we are planning as well some some uh, presential uh, workshops uh, for the, for the interesting coming, and uh, you can be contacted through your website which has your uh, Instagram I, I, actually it's funny because because yeah. my website was hacked few years ago and i gave up <laughs> you know oh. so it's it's not work i mean it's, it's working but this i'm not uh, i'm not in charge of, of it anymore and uh, i don't know who's the hacker or so i don't so but but i, I do have a facebook page or mm. instagram page also i can be contact there mm. if 
anybody wants to ask anything more. Sure. Yeah. Uh, a friend, this has been a great uh, time really with you. You are so generous and you have a lot Thank of things you. really Thank that you, you shared uh, generously. And uh, I think we have uh, other opportunities to meet and uh, discuss a lot of other things. I hope so. And yeah. I, re I really, really, I really thank you for having me here. And again, I tell you from the from my heart, really, that what you are doing is really important because uh, nobody else is, is doing it, actually. And uh, I'm, I'm following your, your interviews with uh, so, so much interest, really. It's, it's, it's really precious what you are doing. Thank you, friend, and thanks our viewers and listeners uh, to stay with us, and uh, we'll see you soon again with Efren and, and the rest of Al-Nadi guests. Thank you. Yeah, bye for now.